So let's try this again. So we're here to play Secret of Mana. Let's, let's set the tone for the game. I'm going to let you know, Chan. This was a game I grew up with. I played a co-op, I think, the first time I played through the game. And this was the game where I discovered game exploits. This game is like such a beautiful train wreck of programming. <laughs> it, it is something. I, I will try really, really hard to not use major glitches in this playthrough. I can't promise I won't accidentally do one at some point. But there, there's some big exploits. I, I'm going to name a couple of things that I'm aware of and I will try not to do. I will try not to break the charging level of the weapons so that I instantly get to level 255 out of 8 and basically one-shot everything in the game. I will try not to use any unintentional whip glitches unless it saves me a walk in very specific areas. I will not use it to go to places I can't normally go to. Um, if the UI bugs, that's whatever. I can't do anything about that. Uh, I won't get infinite money. <laughs> How's that, Chad? I, I promise I won't infinite money within the first 10 minutes of playing the game. I will probably exploit something with the magic system in the game. I will probably use what I think is intended in vulnerability frames on certain things. And I will try not to power level. I don't find grinding super exciting. This game does encourage a lot of grinding because there's a lot of things you could potentially level up. And I know it's a lot to talk about, but it, we have to preface this. The game has a lot of problems, but I think if nothing else, chat, just enjoy the experience. If nothing else, the soundtrack is like an 11 out of 10. I will also try to go in plot order. There are a lot of ways I can skip the plot. There are a lot of ways I could do things alternatively. I will try not to skip the plot. <laughs> Just, I'm going to say the word try. I might I might have like muscle memory from way back then and then accidentally skip some cutscenes. But I will do my best to not skip anything major. So we're going to play the game like 98% of the way intended. And we'll see where we go from there, chat. So that that is the preface I will give of this game. I have played it before. I played it to completion once. So I probably know the beginning of the game a little better than the last half of the game. So we'll see where it goes. I don't plan on playing with a guide. We're just gonna we're gonna wing it after a certain point, chat. That is not the right controller. And that will not flip the screen if I do that. Let's try this again. I swear, I don't know why I can't find the word switch on here. Is, is it not? Oh, I guess it deleted itself at some point. Well, that's something I'm going to go have to fix between streams. But in the meantime, let's manually transition the screen. So we already beat Final Fantasy Adventure. It is time- oh, no, no. It's time to go to the Secret of Mana. It actually has the manual here. So, Chan, the reason I want to open the manual is not because- well, one, I don't remember the controls offhand, but two... Chan, you immediately have to name the characters. Well, at least one of them. So, I'm gonna hit B. Oh. Did I grab the wrong- I think I grabbed the wrong controller. Give me one second. So yeah, we have Boy with Bandana, so he's on the right side. We have a gender ambiguous character. I believe in the US release, the character is intended to be male. I believe in some of the European versions, it's female, and a few of the other ones, it's gender neutral, and they don't use a pronoun. So have fun with that. And then we have the blonde woman on the left. I do not remember all of their names offhand. I know, for example, the protagonist is originally named Randy with an R. I'm gonna see if the guide has their names. I feel like one of them's like Palum and Purim or something. It's, it's something similar. I'm not sure if it- oh, it won't show us the thing unless we do the QR code. That's unfortunate. Well, you are on your own with that. 
I will state that we will be doing a lot of cannon travel in this game. So if you want to make a Team Rocket reference, you can name, uh, you can have Jesse James and Meowth. Because <laughs> we're going to be blasting off again several times in the playthrough. But I believe we have a limitation of six characters. Again, it has been a while since I played. So, no joke, we're gonna let the intro play, and the, pretty much the moment I hit start, you have to name the protagonist. So he is typically gonna be wielding a sword, he can use an assortment of weapons, kind of like an adventure. See, the game came out in 1993 by Square, ooh. Programmed by Nasir. So we're just gonna redo the intro here. Unfortunately, it got a little garbled in the stream itself, so I'm gonna voice the intro since there were some unfortunate initial technical issues, but uh, by second part, they should all be smoothed out at least. So let's witness the intro credits for the lore behind the three characters here. Darkness sweeps the troubled land as mana's power fades. People await a hero who will wield the sword. Excalibur, Harold Gigas. The blade has had many names, for it has been celebrated in myths and legends throughout time. But all these speak to just one weapon, the Sword of Mana. Do you like the little bird effect behind the title? It's kind of a nice touch. All rights reserved, licensed by Nintendo. Nice little intro here. Such classic music, for sure. And with that, it loops, so we'll go back to the main video. You're looking forward to the remake? Hope they don't screw it up. Are you talking about the Secret of Mana remake or Trials? Because tri the Secret of Mana one was not good. I'm not playing that. Look at this chat. Ooh, names can be up to six letters long. Help me. Oh, you, you mean like another version of this game? Because there's there's already a there's an HD remake. That that's already out. If you're referring to that. It's named Protag. We could call him Protag. That would fit. But it's all up to the chat. Yeah, because if I shrink it down, it doesn't really help that much. Bandan? <laughs> Is everybody going to be described by if they have bandana? Yeah, I would double check, unless they're releasing yet another version of the game. That came out like two years ago? Oh no, more like three at this point. It came out before the Trials remake. Trials was like a complete remake. Secret of Mana was not. So unless they announce yet another one, which I'm not going to rule it out. I haven't been following news. You like bandans as a parameter? I think that could work. I'm gonna be honest with you, Chan. When it says press the B button, I, I had to look at the controller. I was like, I don't know what the Switch B button is. Between going between Xbox and the Switch, like, I have no idea. Ban Dan. Jean-Claude Van Damme, yeah, pretty much. Alright, so let me know if things are working, if you need any more adjustments. I'm curious what this option menu is. Oh, it's just for the quick menu. Sure. We'll do a quick save, why not? I guess I could try to show off some of the glitches with quick save and then undo it in our main playthrough. Because a lot of these, a lot of these saves can really break the game. Let me also preface chat. If I did a glitched run of this game, I could probably beat this game in about 30 minutes. 
<laughs> so I, I would like to not beat the game in 30 minutes. Let's enjoy the story for what it's like. Yeah, I was going to say, Calvisham, I'm like, I wasn't following what you were saying before. Using the power of mana, civilization had grown strong. In time, mana was used to create the ultimate weapon, the Mana Fortress. Let me hide chat for a little bit. This angered the gods. They sent their beasts to destroy the forest. A violent war rocked the world and mana seemed to disappear. Before all was lost, the hero with the mana sword smashed the fortress. Though civilization had been destroyed, the world was peaceful again. But time flows like a river, and history repeats. Okay. Now let's put Twitch chat back. Panda says, hey guys, wait up! Ah! Shh, be quiet. Elder will find us here and he'll be mad. Yeah, we're not supposed to be here. There's a ghost around, says Timothy. Huh, do you really believe that? People say that to scare us. But I heard Grandma say something about a shiny object near the falls. That must be some kind of treasure. We have to find it. Help, I'm falling. Huh? Ah! <laughs> you just book it. There we go, chat. Kaplunk. We did it. Ah, oh, phew. No way to get back up. Now what am I gonna do? Hmm. Give me one second, chat. I'm gonna adjust the chat box again. I want to see one thing, if I slide it over a little more, how that looks. I guess that's okay. I just want to make sure that chat is not obstructed from the game. So we'll go with this for now. Alright, so I found the run button. We have kind of a stamina meter, but it's not showing us our stats yet. I think we have to find the object in the water. Love that there's like a little bit of momentum. It's like thou must go forward. Ben Dan, Ben Dan, huh? I love when you run. You could cause the music to skip. I always love that in the SNES. Village is this way. I have to find something to cut through. Ben Dan. Remove the sword. Who are you? What's the sword doing here? Uh, huh? Ow, that light. So bright, I, I can't see. Uh, a a g g g ghost. Dan, it is I who asked. The sword. Huh? You mean this sword? It did not take very long. I agree, Chan. The brilliant light is gone in an instant. I have to get back. Uh, so now we have, I think, access to everything. Oh, can I not do the other menus yet? Okay, so I can get the equipment ring. I'm just double checking something. Am I forgetting a control? Maybe I can't do anything yet. Yeah, I don't think I can. So, this game is pretty infamous for having like the equipment ring where once we get multiple weapons, that's kind of like our quick select. You'll see along the bottom, whenever I attack, we will briefly lose our stamina. Otherwise, it's at max if it's not there. Whoa, what's a rabbi doing in a place like this? Well, anyway, that's for somebody else to deal with. Listen, chat. We got things to do. Like, I'm sure the game wants me to kill these, but I'm like, nah. That's cool.
<laughs> right, chat? Listen. Action, action RPG? Listen, just skip all the combat. It's fine. Bye. <laughs> we, got, we got other things to do, right, chat? Stairs are kind of annoying in this game. They slow you down very significantly to the point where you also can't run. So they can interrupt your stamina. So you see, like, there, I purposely tried running past the stairs, but uh, we got denied. Stairs are your mortal nemesis in this game, Chad. Anytime you see stairs, if you could skip them, it's what you want to do. Old woman was juking me, by the way. Did you see that, Bandan? A minute ago, something lit up the sky near the falls. I have a real bad feeling about this. Oh, I'm sure nothing at all will go wrong. I'm sure everything will be fine. Bandan, the Elder was looking for you. What did you do this time? Well, he's going to have to wait. Bandan, on an errand for the Elder. Best hurry along. What'll it be? Hmm. Your prices are actually pretty good. I think you have a cheaper than normal bandana. So if I really wanted to farm, I could probably get these. But anyway, I can't do anything now unless I feel like glitching the game. I think it only takes two items to glitch the game. And I think I could just have to buy, like, the candy as well as the herb and a bit of gold. It's it's that straightforward, by the way, Chad. I'm not joking. So it's only five to rest at the inn. I could save formally for the first time in the playthrough. I'm just double-checking. Am I forgetting a button that does something else here? I think it just might not be unlocked yet. So eventually we're going to get a, a menu that lets us change things like the AI patterns. Maybe it's waiting for us to get a second player. And uh, we'll also get additional things for general customization. Also, by the way, chat, this merchant is like the happiest guy in the planet. Look how happy he is to do merchant things. Oh, it's you, Bandan. Elliot was pale and about to faint. What happened? Man, dot, dot, dots us, chat. I'm sure he won't be important. The guy seems to be a knife from somewhere. What's he doing here? Hmm... There's a strange guy in here. He looks kind of scary. Anyway, I think I've avoided the plot for long enough. Actually, did I go in here? I don't think I did. Hey, Banan, stop playing with that sword before you hurt someone. Well, in my defense, we didn't hurt anybody on the way here. So, so far, pacifist run achieved. It'll make the game slightly more hard for me. Oh, hello, random elder. Help! Monsters have surrounded the village. Something's wrong. We better stay inside. Oh, see, chat, look, he's just protecting us from danger. Bandan, you're not hurt. They just told me what happened, says Elder. I thought you were a goner. I told you it was stupid to bring someone like him along. You idiots. Weren't you told not to go there? Huh? Bandan, what's that you have? Oh, no. It couldn't be. Cool. Did you find the treasure? Way to go! What have you done? How could you have pulled out the mana sword? It's impossible. The mana sword? Legend has it that our village is finished. The sword is removed. And here it is. It is said the mana sword has been protecting our village from disaster. So that's it. That's why all the monsters are attacking us right now. We shake our head no. How can an outsider like you yank out the sword and bring doom to us all? Just get punched. Hey, stop it. You did it. It's your fault. You. Please stop. Whoa, an earthquake. Down we go, chat. Ah! So we've fallen twice in the span of about 10 minutes. Well, I'm a monster. You have a sword, don't you? Use it. Hey, can you hear me? Watch how the monster moves before attacking. I did not mean to run there. That sucks. Huh, this might actually be a close call because I did not want him to do that. Although I did get the glitch where I got him to uh, damage, take damage. Oh, he invulnerabilityed. Uh-oh. 
Am I gonna die to the first boss? Because I didn't level. I am. That's so sad. I got kind of unlucky. I'm not gonna lie, I got really unlucky. Hang on, I'll help you. Clear your mind. Wait till you have 100% power and aim carefully. Well, anyway. It doesn't really matter. I just wanted to showcase death at some point. First boss, you can't really die. So, yeah. There is a way to get him to not spell cast with careful positioning, but he was, uh... Not, a, not in agreement with me, so I did something wrong, and that's fine. You enter the amazing boss music? Exactly, try. Yeah, the game normally expects you to take, like, a candy and a level up. But unfortunately... We got hit by, like, a 30 damage spell, instead of him only doing 9 damage to us. If he just does 9 damage, we're fine. We got the Swords Orb. You did it. Wait there, I'll pull you up. Yeah, I'm not sure how many people are even aware that you can't die on that boss, so I felt like showing that off. Wah! The man appears to be... Oh, that appears to be the real Mana Sword. Huh? What? It is supposed to be pulled out by a knight in times of great trouble. Problem is, you're too young. Something must have happened to the Mana Sword. Here, it's yours! Sorry. But the sword is losing its power and must be re-energized. Only the person who pulled it free can do that. But what should I do? Visit Sage Luca in the Water Palace. She's been protecting these lands for over 200 years. Listen to her advice. Yeah, I mostly just got cheesed by spells. He honestly didn't hit me for a lot. It was the 28-28 spell that was kind of ridiculous. Pandan, the other wants you in his house. Well, I'll have to, I have to be off. Oh, my name is Gemma. I'll wait for you inside the Water Palace. Yeah, the beginning of the game is, like, slightly challenging, but once a certain event happens... Difficulty gone. <laughs> Just, I'm letting you know, chat. A certain something will happen, difficulty gone. Helder, we can't go on like this. Yeah, there's no relief in sight. Oh, Bandit. You really done it to me this time. The reason why monsters have appeared is because you removed the sword. It's settled. We can't let Bandon stay in the village anymore. If we do, more monsters will come after him. Go. Get out of here. Yeah, on your way now. I don't want to do this, but I have no choice. I'm going to have to ask you to leave the village. You take what's in the treasure chest downstairs. Question. I still don't seem to have the other menu. That's fine. Shaky shake time. 50 gold. Nice. We're up to 150. Heading out. See you later. Uh... I don't think I actually want to purchase the armor yet. I know there's just going to be a better store in, like, no time. I'm just thinking about if I want to get candy... So there's kind of a thing with the merchants. If there are some merchants you can find that are near dungeons. And they will sell things for cheaper outside the dungeon as opposed to in the dungeon itself. Uh. Game. Oh, that was weird. That took a long time to read that input. I'm not sure what happened there. I'll buy some candies. We'll be getting Cup of Wish eventually as well. I think the max is four of any item. So Cup of Wishes is the revive item of the game. I get a medicinal herb. I can't now officially glitch the game if I want to, just because, by the way, because I bought two items. You have to equip new armor for it to protect you. Yeah, yeah, we're not doing that. Um. Oh, did you see that graphic glitch? Just for a second, you can put your foot through the, through the roof. I love it. See, chat, we already glitched the game. Do I feel like... Oh, I, I don't really want to spend money to save this early in the game. It's fun. Have everything you need? We'll say yes. You are hereby banished from Potos Village. Now get out of here. And definitely don't glitch past me hilariously later in the game. Oh, yeah, chat. So here's the deal. If you go by canon... You can skip the plot. <laughs> I did get banished. Just so what you don't have. So I'm gonna make money in game and in real life. Exactly. 
So we could take that route if we want to. Ooh, you hit me from pretty far away. Oh, you hit me twice. The stun lock is real. Oh, here we go. Now it's letting me do it for some reason. That flower was not messing around. Okay, fine. I'll take the other method. I don't feel like dealing with Lily at the moment. Okay, so we're gonna take a little bit of a shortcut. Going to the Water Palace? Gemma's already left. He you paid your way too. Hop in. We'll say thank you. So we're gonna view a little bit of plot. The reason I say it is that you can use the cannon to make silly things happen. I will do what we need to do here, and then I'll go back to the plot. And things should be fine. So essentially, chat, it's possible to not talk to any of these soldiers, and that could cause you to skip a character. The game accounts for this somewhat, but I'm going to talk to these soldiers and go the intended plot route. Need a whip to get through the shortcut to the castle of Eileen the Witch. That's Major Dylock. This mission will be full of danger, but we'll do our best. Major Dylock, all set. All right, let's go. Oh. Talking to you advanced the dialogue? You got me on that one. So anyway, they went off to the left here. We can also go there if we want to. Don't really recommend it. So let's go in the temple first. Let's go abandon. The reason I want to come here, we're going to get healed. I get to save the game formally. Oh, the stairs. The stairs are so bad. Look at how slow we move through them. So bad. I already know to go to the right. I'm not getting baited. <laughs> I've played this game too many times, old man. If I go the left route, I have to go the other way. It's so much more annoying. So, now what? Hey you, where's Luca? Hey, how rude. Luca, it's nice to see you again. Ha ha ha, welcome. What? You mean this girl is 200 years old? Look at that chat. It was a thing back then too. Guess I'll talk to him first. Luca, monsters are invading villages. He just fought one. I know. The ebb and flow of water brings me news from around the world. Mena's power is growing weak. That's why this boy was able to take the sword. When he did, the balance of mana in this area shifted, and the monsters revived. There are evil monsters working to steal away the power of the mana sword. By defeating those evil monsters, it restored the sword's mana. The power is kept in orbs. Looks like it regains some power from the mantis ant. There must be more hidden orbs which hold mana power for the sword. You must find someone who could forge the sword to release its stored power. Alright, uh, cool story, but there's one thing I want to do before we go too much further. First of all, I never use the default background, so that was really bothering me. Um, So, Chad, we're, we're going to let you pick some options before we go further, because there's going to be a decent amount of dialogue in the game. We can have the no background, which I don't recommend. We have the vertical bars, the honeycomb, the kind of, kind of like rope. We have the very, very tight grids. We have the thick grid, and we got that diagonal lines. We also have the bar scan one, I like to call. It makes a very funky visual effect when you see the background go past it. And those are your choices. And also technically color things a little bit. Personally, I like it being a little darker. I don't- that might be a bit overkill. Probably want it- I might go for that one for now. Let's chat as a preference. Ah, uh, here we go. And also change the color of the border. I think when I played, I did something like... Maybe I did something like thick? I think I did thick with one of the borders here. This full background wasn't too much. Something like that. I think I might have gone for that one when I originally played. I almost never leave it on the default. 
could maybe do this one. Kind of a kind of reminds me almost of like the Soten borders. Select a window with the direction. Change the color by pressing the other colors. Did not like me doing that, sadly. The speed is set. Oh, you got you got to hold it down maybe for the color. I was trying to do the color change, but it didn't like that. Let me do this one. Nah. Uh, actually, I'd like it a bit thinner. Okay. So press B button to set. We've now at least locked it in. We've taken a screenshot of the game unintentionally. Another thing I want to do... Pressing A, B. Do I have to have it, like, selected for it to change? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's so awkward. Ew, why did they do that? Okay, so Chad, if you're wondering what happened, I had to, like, select it, like, with left, right, and then I could slide these. So we can make it kind of look like anything. Interesting. Oh, white looks horrendous. Chat, no thanks. Blood red is certainly an interesting color. Honestly, I kind of like it more blue. Do like a little blue. Okay. So one thing I also want to check. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Can I invert? I don't think it's going to let me invert. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about, when I hit right on the controller, it rotates it left. <laughs> that stuff drives me wild. That I don't miss. Okay, so let's talk about the AI grid. It's fairly simple. You have four basic strategies the game will employ. So bottom right means it's keep away and heavy guard. If you go up here, he's going to go close and guard. If you go on the upper left, whenever he's an AI, he attacks and approaches. What the game doesn't tell you is this actually improves their damage if you put it in the upper left, so we're going to put it there. We don't have any charge levels yet to showcase that, but we can restrict the AI from charging up a weapon too long and just use lower level charge. But right now that's not a mechanic we can really take advantage of. We can, however, see the weapon skills. So you can see we have eight weapons we're going to get throughout the game. And we could see the level of the weapon, which is on the left, zero, colon, the number of experience points. Now, there is kind of a weird mechanic with the game where technically the final boss damage cares about all of these weapon levels. I haven't decided how much I'm going to affect that. I have to think about it. Let's see, I could see the number of energy orbs, so I think that means... I can get up to one charge level currently. I'll need more orbs to get more charge attack levels. And also look at our stats. So the game best is best described as being kind of like a mix of action and turn based. So we have a certain percent chance of hitting. We have a certain automatic guarantee of evading. Um, but we release our attacks and everything else in real time. However, those mechanics will potentially block. So we got our Strength, Agility, Constitution, Intelligence, and Wisdom. I'm going to be honest with you, chat. I barely know what those stats do. I played the game a couple times. It doesn't matter. The only thing we care about is attack power. And we need 5 experience level. I have almost never used the targeting mechanic of this game. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do this. Basically, you can tell your AI friends to target a specific enemy if they're being aggressive on the wrong person. So it's, it's nice in concept, I never use it. So we're in our overalls. That's all that matters. Gemma, watch out for the Empire. Seeks to attain the Mana Fortress. Mm. You mean the one that destroys the world in the fairy tale? You know what, now that I'm seeing it against the text, I'm not as in love with this one. It's no fairy tale. The Empire is trying to awaken it. 
The Empire is going to unlock the seals from the world's mana seeds. A bunch of strangers have already started snooping around the, pa the palace. Something is very wrong in Pandora. Would the Empire be involved? I don't know, Gem. Gemma, see the King of Pandora and tell him to be cautious. All right, I'm on my way. Bandit, you go to the cave called Gaia's Navel. Dwarves live in that cave. They make good weapons and know all about weapons. You may know somebody who can reforge and empower that sword of yours. As your sword's power and skill level increase, so too will your ability. So we have our first official mission. I'm going to adjust the look of the window. It's not as good as I thought it was. Maybe we could do like th thick. I don't mind the thin border, but I'm not sure I'm in love with the colors. I have to look at the controller. <laughs> it's weird, like, it, cause you have to think about it this way, chat. Like, it's it's A Y X, but that's not how the controller is laid out. Oh, X and Y are swapped. No, no, no. That that's a fine. Never mind. Ignore me. Maybe I'll just go for much darker. I didn't really like the blue. Maybe I'll just go for a dark color there. See how I feel about it. Ben Dan, what are you so scared of? Uh, I'll say the fortress. Eons ago, the ancients used the mana fortress in their final battle. But even they could not control mana. You know what? Honestly, not in love with this one either. In the end, it was your sword that saved the world. Survivors rebuilt the world to honor mana. That is the mana sword, but its power is gone. Use this last ounce of power to summon you. I'm gonna say... Ooh, do we say why me or power dot 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 question mark chat? Oh, could you imagine if I made that background purple to match this purple? Text would be literally unreadable. Yeah, maybe I'll do for thin slots. I would have thought I would have liked it more with the colored in background. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, nah, I don't like it as much. So let chat decide. Are we going to ask why we were selected or what about the power? Why me? That's true. Why did it choose me? I don't know. But now you must re-energize it. What a satisfying answer to that question. <laughs> we could say no problem or no way. Hmm. <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to say no way. <laughs> Chat just immediately give up adventuring this early in the game. You know what? I'm gonna select it. Bandon, the Empire must not restore the fortress. Regain the sword's power first, or all is lost. What should I do? I must become a hero who is worthy of the sword. <laughs> who, me? Or dot dot dot? Okay, well, we gotta ask questions. That's the blue Donna way. We shake our head. That's impossible! Bandon, the Empire must not restore the fortress. Oh. Never mind. We're we're in the dialogue loop. Thou must agree. Thou must dot 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 okay exclamation mark. Enough. Hold the sword up to the seed. The purple dot away. Welcome, Dango. For a moment, the seed and the sword become one. Or became one, excuse me. You've sealed the mana seed with your mana sword. Now the mana power from the seed will be sent only to you and your sword. To be able to gain power from the mana seed wherever you are. The world has eight palaces. Visit them all and receive the power from them all. Project Omega says the game has such a good soundtrack. Take this spear with you. Mana Guardians used it long ago. You received the spear. It will grow and regain its power, just like your mana sword. Must be more weapons like the spear in the world. Find them. I'll restore you. Want to save the game? Yes. First, head to Gaia's navel, like Dendrima said. Look for the underground palace. To reach Gaia's navel, head south through the realm of Pandora. Uh, I just want to showcase what happens if we go here. For those that are curious. Uh, you know, it's just a little, little dungeon, a little suspicious dungeon back here. Hmm. But anyway, Chad, let us... Maybe I'll just do it without the dialogue, without the background. See if I like that more. So we're going to save one more time, so that way it saves our change. I don't know. 
I'm just, I don't know, chat. I'm feeling very, I'm feeling very torn. Oh, please don't tell me the dialogue again. I'm feeling very torn. I guess it needs something. Blank isn't great. Do I do diagonals? Try this. It's a little better. Still looks a bit weird. I know, that's what I was looking for. There's no full background. It makes me sad. I would have much preferred that. Well, anyway, we're going to go ahead and... Try to soft reset. Oh, does that not work with the Switch controller or did they change the input? Uh-oh, I would really hope I can soft reset. That's okay, I could do it the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, listen, chat. If it doesn't, if it if it doesn't want to let me soft reset, that's fine. I just don't want to sit through the now loadings and whatever. Unfortunate. I'll figure out the input that the switch controller wants for that to register. We'll figure it out eventually. Yeah, because this is not fast to do. I would like to just do the in-game soft reset. It was also kind of finicky on Adventure of Mana, but then again, it could just be my controller. So anyway, the reason... Oh, because I took the stairs, I can't do that. Never mind. So, never mind. If we do have to visit this place in the future, soft resetting makes you skip the stair segment. But now I've learned that door counts as another exit for the save point. A bit unfortunate. So, here are the mechanics. Whenever we're running, we have a huge hurt box, and we could die very, very quickly. I'm curious what happens if we go here early. Some force is holding us back. Okay, I'm just curious. As you imagine, we'll be dealing with this in the near future. So we know we don't have what we need to go after them because we don't have a whip, which is kind of funny because we don't technically need the whip. We'll actually get the whip in the dungeon itself. Let's say we didn't know that information. I can hit by the flower. Yeah, the downside is the flowers can kind of stunlock you a little bit. It's probably my least favorite thing. It's very easy to get wombo comboed in this game. But it's okay, we'll just have a little sleep here. Ask him what he's got. Really? Nyaha! What'll it be? Perfectly priceless items available. Let's see, are you... Oh, you're the more expensive merchant. So this is what I'm talking about. The couple wishes in the other town was 150. He's charging us 300 for the revive. What a jerk. Uh, barrel is a very interesting item, but I don't want to purchase anything from this jerk. So I'm going to ignore it. I will stay here, though. Just to save again. Ooh, 30 is kind of expensive, but I'll save for now. So what I'm thinking, Chad, let's go the plot-oriented way. So technically, I can pay money and go directly to the destination that they mentioned. However, you won't get as much plot with one of the other characters. Whatever, if I die, I'd rather get my gold back, so I'm not going to save the game there. So if we had talked to the soldiers, we get a new cutscene when we go this way. Help! Oh! So this would not have occurred had I not talked to the soldiers. We're doing well, Chan. Look how happy that giant urn thing is. Cauldron? Cauldron. Help! Ow! You, do not move! You stay still, say the goblins. You're very lucky. You're gonna be our main dish. Help! Let me go! You look delicious. Ah! Hey, the dancing has already begun. Let us join in. So here you go, Chad. You're gonna have to name this character. Hope you've been thinking about it. Hey. Hey, you. I think they intend her to be kind of a martial artist, because I believe she starts with the, uh, 
brass knuckle and a karate outfit, if chat is curious. If that influences chat's decision. So we could eat so technically they could be called boy girl and sprite if chat really has no names ideas for the characters. What on earth are you doing, you idiot? Please help me. Shh, quiet. Let's get out of here. I owe, you my, I owe you my life, but what are you doing here? Been searching for someone. For a second, I thought you were him. Case of mistaken identity, huh? Guess I lose. Oh, wrong person speaking. Now wait a minute, I'm only joking. Look, I'm in a hurry. Better get back to your home. Later. Hey, wait. Without even telling me her name, dot dot dot. Danger, beware of goblins. Oops, too late. So one thing that kind of is a bit awkward about the combat, at least initially, you want to get the slash attack as often as possible. You do not want the thrust attack. The reason being is that in boss battles, there we go, I decided to level up just for you, chat. So we could go to the village if we want to. We might. I can swipe just out of range of the flower, so it can't really do anything to me. You can see you can kind of stun lock enemies with our combo. But what I was mentioning before was the fact that our slash versus our thrust. For some reason in boss battles, it has like a ridiculous hitbox. So it's not you. If you thought it was, you know, you were imagining things, your hitbox in boss battles with the slash attack is ludicrous. You can hit from so far away. It's like not even funny. I think this is good odds of being candy. Yeah. Basic enemy. So we just refilled the candy I used earlier. So I don't actually want to kill too many enemies yet. I mean, like, I could. Just one shot a couple times here and there. I like that little yellow thing. If chat's wondering what that is, that's a shortcut to go back up the cliff. To save you some movement later. I don't want to take it right now, but remind me if I don't use it to just use it next time. To run around past the flowers so I don't get bodied like last time. We're now at a new town. Which again, we could technically skip. This is Pandora. I was told to let you pass through if you arrived. Sir Genma of Tasnica is in the castle with our king. Oh, and I wouldn't talk to the people in the town. That's a weird thing to tell us. Hmm. Right, chat? Hmm. That's weird. Whoa, a customer. Nothing much here, though. So we can buy the Kung Fu suit if we want to, and the hair ribbon. Notice the prices here, much better. What does I know? Be seeing ya. I could swap to the spear right now, but I think we're good. Ooh, she doesn't move and she just dot dot dots at us. Emma's grown senile, won't say a thing. Yay. Some people are gathering at the ruins south of this town. Odd things have been happening ever since. Grandma goes there. I can't tell if that's supposed to be a character later on or if they just reused her sprite. Guess we'll find out later. I'm mostly just talking to people for the dialogue. Alright, so he's got a much cheaper inn comparatively. Fortunately, we could save the game without using the inn if we really need to. At some point, I need to get levels, but I'm not in a rush. We only have one character in our party right now, so it doesn't really make sense for me to do too much. Oh, look at him clip through. Why are you talking to me? I don't know anything. What is he in Valkyrie profile, too? It's kind of funny. Like, if you move really quickly, you can end up behind sprites you're not supposed to be in. So again, technically, we've already glitched the game. <laughs> Graphically. She dot dot dots us and doesn't speak to us. The master and his daughter at castle arranging her marriage. Hmm. Let's go up the stairs. Well, that's not good to leave that candle unattended like that. Towel houses catch on fire, chat. I guess we could go to the ominous area first. Let's go to the ominous area first. 
we just look at the temple? Don't you normally have like horn demon things sitting in the open like that? And then all these people with masks and dot dot dotting us. None of them refuse to talk to us. Or none of them want to talk to us is the best way to say it. Well, anyway, yeah, it just looks like a nice happy temple. I'm sure we won't be coming back here in the near future. So yeah, let's just keep exploring just to get more dialogue. Oh, my mama and papa! Wow, what's happened to mama and papa? Hmm. Just dot dot dotting, refusing to move. I'm sure they'll be fine. That sounds like somebody else's problem, right chat? Just, we just pulled a sword from a stone. What do we got to do? This is awful. It's as though they've lost their will to live. No, that was just Terradigma. It's over now. It'll be fine. Ooh, can't use the shopkeeper. That's an interesting way of gating players out of uh, items. She also dot dot dots. Don't you ever shut up. This is Pandora's castle. They're doing their best... Impressions of mannequins, nice. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna run through the double door here. This is Pandora's castle. Yeah, uh, thanks, genius. Figured that out on my own. The Empire attacked us once about 15 years ago. There you go, chat. You're getting lore. I wonder if Dialog's gonna be back soon. He promised he'd play with me then. Have you ever seen an enormous tree called the Mana Tree? Well, I haven't. What a, what a weird thing to say. Which up north must be up to no good. People are acting strangely lately. Hmm. This land has had it. It's been cursed by the witch. Send something evil in the ruins to the south. Oh, don't worry. Sure, it'll be fine down there. Sir Elman arranged his daughter's marriage. Feel sorry for her. You should be upstairs now. Well, Chad, I hope you have a name. Dad, you're impossible. I'll make my own decisions about my life. Hey, it's the guy I saved. Say what? You're a swordsman? Uh-huh. Oh, you mean this. This is great. I need your help. I helped you, didn't I? It's your turn. We're going to teach that witch a lesson. We're going to save Dylok. But I I've got to go to the underground palace. Later, later. Right, let's go. Uh, I'm Bandon. Oh, call me dot 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 dot. Please name this young lady. Well, chat, you had a, at least a 10 minute heads up. What are we gonna name the character? Chat is saying Chie. I'm assuming that's in reference to Persona 4. Guess we could do that. She is the kung fu person. We'll hit start to continue. Okay, you could call me Chie. Chie has joined the party. <laughs> Better than my idea, says chat. Chie, I hate you, dad. I'm not returning to this place ever. Yeah, we're gonna be back here in like 20 minutes, but whatever. Can I suggest please no? Oh no. Bandon, you're here. I suppose you've seen what happened to the people. Witch Eileen is draining people's energy. People are going to the ruins in the southern part of this town. I will say the diagonal is much better. I think it fills in much better than the other options. Have a look around. Head for Gaia's navel. What a nightmare. The people in my country are acting like zombies. Troops I sent to fight the witch were captured. Wow. We just met them like two minutes ago. They already got captured? What? You and dad made Dylek go to the witch's castle? Not sure how she got that from that sentence, but sure. How dare you try to drive Dylek and me apart? How rude. Be that way. Let's go, Bandon. Expelled from your village. Well, this realm too is having problems. Probably be best if you also left this country right away. Okay. So we can't get anything yet here. Oh, I can't skip the dialogue. 
we get to be told how rude again. Oh dear. Oh no, not the oh dear. <laughs> Chad, it persists. See, this really is a... Uh, this really is a weekend game. Up to now, this has been such a peaceful country. So sadly, I don't think I could get the items that are in the castle yet. This is the first time I've seen the king looking so troubled. This is the king's room. <laughs> it's our room now, right, Chad? This is the treasure house. I must guard it for the knight in the legend. Aw, oh, it doesn't work. <laughs> so there's a uh, there's an infamous glitch. I was just curious. <laughs> if I went through, I was going to undo it. If you rapidly character swap using the select button, you can force yourself past things you're not supposed to go through. As Chad imagines, it's very abusable. Just not in this uh, specific instance. Your armor, you mean our armor? Welcome, Kirk. Hopefully you're doing well. So we are hilariously low level. Because I've been avoiding most of the combat. I haven't decided who I want to give the weapon XP to. So basically the person that does the killing blow, I believe, is the one who gets weapon XP. When we get spells later, just using any instance counts towards a flat amount. So if you want to level spells quickly, you need to use cheap spells or spells that don't do damage. Preferably something that has both. My life is precious and this place is dangerous, so I'm moving away. Most of the townspeople and soldiers have turned into zombies. I looks battle squad went up to the witch's castle but hasn't returned yet. It's been like 10 minutes. Chill out, guys. Actually, it's all, I've also been assigned to the witch hut. I didn't want to get hurt, so I pretended to be sick. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> okay, we won't tell you anyone about the dereliction of duty. Welcome back home, Kerr. We had a safe travel. I forgot how to do it. I'll remember eventually. There's a way to run backwards in this game. I'll think about it. It's it's like two buttons in direction, but I just forget which two. Might be like those two, but I gotta reverse it. Nah, it didn't work. It doesn't do anything, it's just to show off. So one thing just for clarity. So when you're in the ring menu, you could swap into the character that you want to use items and such. So blue will indicate that I'm in the male characters, last sword users uh, menu, and pink means I'm in the girls. So we can go to her stuff and edit it, which I probably will. So she's playing keep away. I guess that's okay for now. She, I mean, I could give her the spear, I guess, and just make her more aggressive with the spear. I guess that's fine. If you swap weapons between characters, I'll just show the animation. I don't intend to do it that often. Sorry, as I get used to the controls again. Get a nice little animation of them swapping it. I always like that. Well, anyway, we'll keep the boy with the sword. I can switch at any time who I'm controlling. So sometimes if I'm trying to get them past obstacles, I might have to swap in between characters to determine stuff. Is there anything else I wanted to show off or talk to before we go forward with the plot? I don't think so. I mean, I guess I could show off the individual items. So we have one energy orb, so I can level it up to learn charge level one. And also see that she has an access to the spell menu. So we're going to be leveling up up to eight different types of magic, as you imagine, one per palace that we basically go to. Um, spoiler, she gets like one of the best ones super early, and it's not the one you think it would be if you casually play the game. So when we get to magic, remind me to talk about that a bit more in detail. So I think we're finally ready for me to just go on a killing spree between here and the other targets. If I wanted to showcase another glitch, I could purposely level a weapon to level two, and that is basically the start of a glitch. So as soon as I get weapon charge level 2, which I could do with the sword, I could technically do near max damage. I'll try not to do that in the playthrough though. Oh, I got baited. Nice, I got my sword to level up so I could finally charge. So if I hold the attack button down, I can just kind of walk in and swat them. Actually, you know what? 
I'm gonna have her act aggressively for a little bit, just for leveling purposes. I did not mean to enter that menu. I keep forgetting it's opposite. So I'm hitting right and it's rotating left. I'm, I'm telling you, that stuff drives me wild. I will never remember that in the heat of the moment. I'm gonna make her very aggressive for now. When I'm in a dungeon later, I will probably swap it. If she gets poisoned, it's not the end of the world. So we could just kind of combo them if we need to. So I could kind of use her to bait out the attacks on the enemy. And then I could follow up with like a big strike to finish. So the game is more about like rhythm and momentum than it is just like speed inputs. And I think that could sometimes turn people off because they're expecting like a super fast paced game. It's more about kind of cheesing enemies like that. <laughs> just like being slightly out of range. And see how she did a little bit of damage to Stunlock and that set me up for a nice kill there. So I'll level a little bit here, just to make my life a bit easier in the next area. Technically, there's better XP where we're going, but since I'm going to be doing the long walk rather than cannon teleporting everywhere, I uh, might as well show off a little more of the game. So she got knocked unconscious. I can cure that with an herb. She's not dead. If chat is curious. Unconscious is a different status ailment. So if I want to get rid of that, I have to be careful. Unfortunately, she's not really as aggressive as you think she should be. I'm actually not sure why she's not being more aggressive. She's at, like, max. So we could bait the flower swings. It's not guaranteed that we get hit by them. And we're already starting to see some elements where the sword's able to cut down some, uh, like, grassy areas, which is kind of nice. If we do enough damage, we can see we can kind of combo, wombo combo the enemy. Oh, I missed the... Oh, I missed that. That was bad. That was really bad. I had full health briefly, and then I messed up. Oh, well. Okay, so we just gotta be careful. If we're not sure if we're gonna damage them or not, I can attack a little earlier. It does result in reduced damage, but it does result in some sunlocks. Legend of Zelda Grass there. Something like that. Oh, she actually assisted there. I wasn't expecting her to actually help. AI is kind of passive. So, like, what you could kind of do is just kind of swap who ends up getting what. So, I think we're almost at the destination I need to be. I could go to the Kippo Village. Which has, like, a convenient inn if I want to heal. This is Kippo Village. We'll take a look at the store. I also technically don't have to go here. We have a lot of cash. Um, I could get hair ribbon for her. I don't want to buy certain things yet. I think I want a little more money. I don't super care if she dies. I just need to make sure that I am getting weapon experience at the moment. Gaia's navel is where the dwarves are. Thank you. My son Dialog's too busy to visit me. Oh, we found Dialog's parents. Nice. Forgot they were here. But about the kingdom. It's too late back here. Oh, sorry to hear that uh, traffic on the way back was not kind to you, Perk. Glad you're otherwise here now. Not a very big village. Oh, look at you. And a man says, Dis my home. The missus is upstairs. My husband's brothers all look alike. There you go, chat. There's an explanation. They're all related. That's why they all look the same. Uh, I could safety save. Again, if she dies, it's not really the end of the world. I'm not really going to heal myself for 7 HP. I prefer a little more gold just to play it safe with armor. But as I said before, I'm not going to be doing like a ton of ton of kills. I'll take like the stray kills here and there. Funny enough, I actually don't want to level that much because it makes leveling weapons harder. So basically, if I get over leveled, I get less XP from killing the enemy itself in terms of weapon XP. So if you are like grinding every possible enemy and you're doing it with weapons that are already pretty leveled, you're kind of making the game harder for yourself in some ways. 
Okay, our goal is to go basically into the center. I forget if going around to the right or left is faster. I'll find out in a moment, though. Oh, she's unconscious. This is why I don't care if she dies. She's literally going to slow us down. So I can't move the screen if she's unconscious. So I might have to tell her to be defensive so she actually blocks. I'll let her charge up her weapon, though. If she wants to. Of course, both of us missed. Seriously? One of my, like, pixels off? There we go. <laughs> I'm like, I know I can hit them. There we go. We let her finish it. Good, good catch, good catch. So we're slowly getting towards the middle. I believe up to the- up there is another way to get to the Haunted Forest. She's almost dead, but that's fine. These are things I expect, for sure. Yeah, she's already dead. She's unconscious and sees the Reaper. I'll just get some money for later. All that means is I just have to use the inn later. Oh, I ran into the flower, that sucks. I could technically cancel my death animation, but not if I'm the only person in the party. I think I'm gonna safety heal. Okay. Since I was forced to use the candy, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get my gold back here by killing some things. That level up actually helped me a lot. Unfortunate. Could have saved the candy. Okay. So that'll pay for the inn, more or less. There are things I want to fight and kill once we have three party members. And that'll be where I grind just a little bit. Because I want to play it safe. Honestly, once we get past this next big hurdle, we should be mostly fine. Hey, this isn't the way to the witch's castle. Where are you going? I'm gonna say underground palace. I'm not going in. Are you gonna go by yourself? Um... I'm gonna say yes. Jeez, you're stubborn. Fine. I'm on my own. See ya. Separated from Chie. So she left us for now. She will not go into the, the caves, apparently. So those goblins are the things I want to start killing for money and XP. But not quite yet. Oh, getting balloon there really sucks. As you can see, I'm just stunned. Magic is not really dodgeable in this game, which is kind of brutal. So we're gonna tr uh this might be risky to take we'll see if this is worth it 28 gold okay that pays for my in you know what since i've already damaged the bat i might as well kill it I deal with that room. Bye. <laughs> right, chat? Jana. Nice try, though. I'm looking for a very specific item, by the way. I think it's over here. Oh, that is unfortunate. I got the splitter one. Oh, I think I gotta reset this. I need him to not split. All right, we'll take that. We'll take that. I want this. So this is one of the most abusable items in the game. Ooh, we're out of there. So now I can auto-escape any dungeon that I want. And also I can softlock the game. See that, chat? What a useful tool. I could just softlock myself later. I'm sure chat is excited to see how I softlock myself. It'll be exciting, I promise you. I'm actually a little worried about my level. Oh, don't get Wombo- Please don't get Wombo Cuboed. Ooh. Uh, controller. Don't do that. Almost died there. No biggie. Yeah, early game is really brutal, as you can see. You could just straight up die. I, oh, I wish the slime wasn't there. I thought I did not spawn him. 
that's gonna pay for the candy I used earlier. Oh, that doesn't go all the way through. I'm in big trouble, actually. Um, That's what I was worried about. Okay, there we go. Now you hit. Too late, though. Okay, so our destination is right here. We're almost done. We just have to lower a switch, and then we're good. I could have gone to the forest with her, technically, I guess. I don't think it changes that that much. So, like, the reason I don't like going to the forest, as an example, is... Well, one, the area is harder. Two... We have to backtrack anyway, because what you need to progress is in here. So, I, I've gone kind of like a medium plot route. We at least got to see her plot. And we don't really miss too much by not having her here. She doesn't really say too much, honestly. We miss maybe like two lines of dialogue. We can see a very suspicious crack down there, but we're not going to deal with it yet. Alright, first thing I'm going to do... I'm absolutely going to save the game. 400 gold, is that enough? It could show off another glitch. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it. As I said, chat, there are many glitches in this game. I have to, like, go through, like, which ones do I consider not game-breaking. So, I will say from a meta standpoint, if I spend under 100 gold, I can make them give me more gold than they're supposed to later. So, I probably just want to burn all my gold here. Because I'll actually make money by doing this. Let's see, can I get something that'd be useful for me? Uh, I probably want the Power Wrist. Oh, can I literally afford Power Wrist and the Spiky Suit? Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at how little cash we have left. <laughs> okay, I think I think we'll I think we'll we'll cheat the game a little. Just shh, don't tell the game. Yeah, look at that chat. Ten more defense. I absolutely want this. I think chat understands. I want I want that 10 defense. We're, we're taking like 20 damage. I would like to take 10 so I don't instantly die. I'm going to save here and see what the game says for later. So I happen to know something that the chat doesn't. So there's basically a magic show that charges a fee to get in. They're saying the underground palace has been buried for ages. There's so many small earthquakes. There, again. Hmm. So we can't reach the underground palace yet. Let's go back here. Uh, I think I technically have to go this way first. Here we go. Step right on in. The Dwarf's Village's world-famous exhibit hut. It'll be 50 gold. I'm just gonna not pay. Oh, is it not gonna let me through? Come again. Oh, hold on. I gotta get- hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta get to a magic number. I think I have to get to 51? Might be 51. Let's see, do I have to sell anything? Can I hit that number? My bad, I forgot I had to initially have just enough for the first purchase. I don't want the power wrist sold. Oh, we're like just shy. Alright, let me kill like one enemy and then we're good. My bad. Oh, that reminds me. Let's equip the power wrist for... I think that's almost 14 less damage. So we're just gonna get, like, a kill, and then double check our gold total. That's fine. Listen, I'd rather have the defense now. This is the character that needs to survive no matter what. Every other character early on in the game chat, absolutely expendable. I don't care if they die. It's literally more expensive to heal them than to do anything else. Oh, I missed. If you saw that chat, the game stored the fact that I hit the bat there, and I walked away, and the bat died. Question. I think it's status to see my gold. 18. I need more kills. So let's get to 51 gold. I could sell for like 20. I think the goblins give the most gold, but they you do not get a lot of gold in this game in general. 
Honestly, I'm tempted to just not fight the slimes. They're kind of annoying. They have decently good evade. How close are we? 44? Okay, we're close. And this is just more bonus XP. I did not want to get poisoned there. That actually really sucks. Are you really going to force me to use the inn? I think you are. Oh, I can't see my gold total when that happens. Okay, let's assume I have to go use the inn because I got poisoned. Slight hint, I'm going to be doing a boss battle very soon. Okay, 15 is good enough. Okay, I got enough. Let them die, it's cheaper. Hell yeah, it is. They're, they're going to basically be like yo-yoing between life and death. Like, honestly, if you don't gear them in this game, they die so fast. Like, no joke, they could just die in like four seconds. In like a 20 minute, or not 20 minute, like a 10 minute dungeon, they'll die that fast. So this should give me enough gold now. I'm going to see if I could do the, the glitch. It's not major, it just gives me like 40 more gold. The game doesn't math properly. I just thought it would be funny. Also, unfortunately, because we don't have party members, we don't get to watch them run into the bed like idiots during that cutscene. So I have 53 gold, chat. Remember that. This should be good enough. Here's what's... Oh, can we talk to you yet? I don't think we can, right? No. No, no, we'll come back. Okay. So we can talk to him to basically upgrade our weapon. Which I want to do eventually, but I'm going to do it after we do this. I want 100 gold before we leave to make sure we get the upgrades, and that's about it. But I think the game is about to give me the gold that I'm looking for. If things have gone right. Anyway, back to the exhibit hut. Sure, we'll pay 50. So we're now down to 3 gold, chat. <laughs> the show is just starting. First, cast your eyes on this rabbite man. The only one in the world. Take one rabbit and one man, and it's Rabbit Man. Hey, you pipe down. And now, presenting an actual and very rare Sprite Child. Hope you have a name for this character, chat. Boo hoo hoo. Uh, won't you please help me? Yes, folks, it's pure tragedy. Weep as you hear a story. This poor child has a 50,000 gold debt to pay off. It's here, working off the debt bit by bit. Oh, please, gentle people. Please help it. Even a hundred gold will help. I'll say okay. Jeez, a lot of nothing. These poor people just aren't gonna cut it. Sandbag too. So we got a different cutscene there, which is kind of funny. Well, how was that? What an actor I am. That guy was even crying. Yeah, you, I kind of made you show an alternate cutscene. Oops. <laughs> well, I wasn't too bad myself. <laughs> We're going to make a fortune. Furby? Oh, no. We could call them Furby. I love how you just go onto the stage if I want to. Or just go through the stage here. I don't know what happened to Rabbite Man. Rabies? Oh, no. Oh, I gotta watch the cutscene again. They're making sure you know about their plotting. Ah, did you ever hear what we just said? Wow, he could float in the air a long time. Please forgive us. This child really is a sprite child. We used to live in the sprite forest, but a flood brought it here. Thought it helped to earn the money to return home. Good idea, huh? Hey, you have to apologize too. Hmph. Okay, I was wrong. I'm ashamed of myself. I'll return your money. Oh, I didn't get the glitch. That's unfortunate. Sorry. Didn't mean any harm. Oh, well. well anyway, something should something interesting should happen when we go to leave. Oh, or not. Oh, you know what? I have to talk to them one more time. My bad. Premature leaving. Oops. Interesting that I could talk to them from here. What is this hitbox? Did you see? look at that? What? Their trigger dialogue is right there. That's crazy. Hmm. That's fine. We'll proceed further.
Okay. So let's proceed for now. Anybody we didn't talk to? Sounds like digging. The village of dwarves. Interesting. I think what I need to do... Let's go get some money then. Since I, I wanted money before I left. It's money o'clock, chat. So I need something to trigger here. And we need 100 gold anyway, so we got some time. I missed the sword swing, but that's okay. Nice, level 5. I'm feeling I'm almost at the level I want to be for the... Not this boss, but the, the boss afterwards. So we've gotten more XP than I was expecting, which is fine. Now this is the room I think I want to kill stuff in. Nice, easy double stab. Just gonna quickly go in and out. Actually, I should probably let them spawn the, uh... What's it called? The treasure chest. In case I could get more money off of them. Now, sometimes the chests are trapped, which is a bit rude. What am I doing in terms of money? 133? Okay. Uh, I'll go to 150, because I think there's one other thing I want to get later. And that's going to be a bit of candy. Okay. I'm going to double check for money. Nothing there. Okay. Good enough. Yeah, I think the goblins give the most money, and I think they can also potentially drop money as one of their common drops. So I could save a lot of time, potentially. The slimes are also incredibly annoying to hit, and the bats are also somewhat annoying. I don't feel like resetting them. So anyway, with our newfound gold, let's go further. So sadly, I did not get more money back than I was expecting. Oh well, failed the glitch attempt. I'll have to see what I did wrong later. I'll clear clarify to the chat. But let's go ahead and upgrade the sword. Right, wait a sec. He's doing his little blacksmith and dance. It's done. Never seen a sword as fine as this one in my life. Hope someday I can forge a splendid sword. Huh? What on earth? My hammer started to glow. Wait just a minute. That must be the mana sword. Astonishing. Perhaps the power of the mana sword has seeped into my hammer. Great. I think I'll try to make an axe with this. Come back in a while. Yeah, that come back in a while is what I'm talking about. So we we don't know this yet, but we do need the axe. So now that I did this, I believe something will happen. Yeah, there we go. What on earth? Well, anyway, chat. Something's coming. Uh, I hope you're ready for a boss battle, because this is a very rude boss battle if you're not expecting it. I'm gonna go in the safe spot. Too early. Ooh. I got poison, which is unfortunate. So you can you can physically dodge the uh what's it called? The tentacles. <sighs> I didn't quite get to the safe spot in time. There we go. So there, there, it, it isn't just like pure RNG. There is a strategy to it. Slightly too slow. Actually, I shouldn't have gone here because the tentacle was there. I could kind of bait the pumpkin shot if I'm fast. The boss is almost dead. I got kind of unlucky. In fact, I'm surprised it didn't die just then, to be honest with you. I think because I missed one of the level 1 charge shots, it didn't die. It's almost dead, though, I promise you. Ooh, you like that? Oh, I got hit there briefly. Huh. I must have moved slightly too soon. That's unfortunate. But we are almost done with the boss battle. There we go. 
So sadly, if I didn't get tagged by the tentacle thing, I could have saved myself a candy. Oh well. Rip to the boss. So we'll get full healed so I don't need to go back to the inn at least. Way to go! We got the sphere orb. Thank you very much. I didn't need your help. Hey, sorry about that. This child received such a shock from drifting here, it lost all of its memories. Oh no, chat, there's someone other than us that is amnesia. Really is a, ch a nice child. It plays tricks on people sometimes, though. Come on, old timer, give me a break. Take it easy. Chapacalo broke out of a sealed palace. There must be a way into it. The memory might return if we receive some power from the Mana Seed. What? Really? I'll go now, right now! Not alone. The palace was buried. Must be tons of monsters by now. I was about to... <laughs> Should we just name them Num Noon Chan? Would you be so kind as to accompany the sprite to the palace? We'll say yes. What luck. Did you hear that little one? Hey, brother. Brother? My name is Bandon. Okay. Why don't you... Why don't you name me too? That'll make it easier on you. Please name the little sprite. Oh, I chat. Well, I, I based off of the chat comments, I'm gonna start typing in Numdu. Oh, look, <laughs> Loki was slightly too slow. Numdu, what kind of name is that? Like, uh, nice to meet you. Numdu joined. Okay, so Numnu. Good luck, you get to pounce by way of a hole over there. There is a lava field which Eileen made to seal the palace. First, you have to go to Eileen's castle to ask her to dissolve her seal. Eileen used to be a good witch, but she's not anymore. Go north to the haunted forest. Find her castle. Oops. I apparently, accidentally opened the quick menu. And ask her to open the seal. Here are a few. Here are a bow and arrow we found along with the little one. Take them. Receive Chobin's bow and arrows. So we got yet another weapon. It reminds me, lots of blacksmith is looking for you. Visit his workshop. So... Let me think. We probably need to upgrade the character that's with us a little bit. But if we can't, it's not the end of the world. Uh... Probably want to get the rad light cap. I definitely want headgear for the protagonist. Give midrobe. Just to give them defense. So I gave them the headpiece. I just give them... Uh, not great choices here. We're like slightly under... Slightly underwhelming choices here. Let me go get the candies. I only want another one of these. So that's fine. Money's tight at the moment, but we're about to... We're gonna level a little bit with our characters, so we'll get money back eventually. I'm not too worried about that at the moment. So make sure you're actually properly equipped. So five extra defense does matter a little bit. Oh, you started with midrobe? Oh, I didn't realize that. That's unfortunate. I forgot about that. Oh, well, slight waste of money. I mean, I lost like a candy and a half. That's not too bad. But more importantly, we got to make sure we equip the helmet here, which I think is also part of the reason why I took a lot of damage on that boss. Seven less per hit would have been pretty huge. So the only thing we have to really make sure is the protagonist at all times is basically a full power. Everybody else, it doesn't matter. And as soon as we get to a certain part of the game, defense really doesn't matter either. So I'll get rid of the Mitch suit. So I lost like six gold. And then I'll get rid of overalls. So if we go back to Watts, we'll get the item we actually need to get further. So I guess I could go ahead and do that. Well, I tried making an axe, but it's no good. Wonder why. Got a boomerang, huh? 
Wait, I know. Try holding this axe. That's it. Mana power in these weapons doesn't work until you hold them. This axe is mighty special. You can even smash a boulder with it. Take it with you for a hundred. Oh. We got money gated. Well, we got money gated. We have to come back. <laughs> My bad, Chan. Uh, for some reason, I thought it was only 50. That's what I get for not playing the game in like 20 years. So close. But hey, we need to level up the sprite a little bit as well. So the reason I care about the sprites levels is not due to damage. It's actually due to MP. I need the sprite to have certain totals of MP at certain points of the game, or the battles are going to get kind of annoying. Right now, the sprite doesn't have any magic, so they're kind of awkward. Sprite, please help me. No, you're just going to watch the slimes go towards me slowly. Thanks. Cool story. Let's try this again. Yeah, we got money gated. Like, we need that. There's... There's... It's it's not optional. It's 100% needed for the next dungeon. So we would have to come back regardless. It's a little risky to go for, but I'll pick it up. Punchy glove. That's just rude. Well, there we go. We got our first trap chest. So what we're going to do... We're going to level on the goblins anyway, because I like fighting them compared to the other enemies. Numnu has now hit level 2, I've hit level 6. I'm like one level off of where I want to be for the next boss. There's an easier way to level and get XP in the area we're going to, as you can imagine. Ooh, the sprite actually messed up my damage. Nice stab, though. More gold is nice. So I think we'll kill two more of these. Level num new. Leveling too much also means I don't get free healing, so I gotta be a little careful here. What's our cash total looking like? 184, that's good enough. And as I said before, if I'm constantly power leveling them by doing stuff like this, by fighting the ones with the most XP, that also means they're getting terrible weapon XP. Oh, there's the sprite getting stuck. Unfortunate when that happens. Fortunately though, game please. <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> that bat, that bat had it out for me, chat. That was just so rude. That's what that bat gets. Get comboed. Stupid bat. So anyway, so one thing we have to kind of pay attention to as we go through is one, we don't overlevel too much because then we we lose healing in the dungeons. And you can see you can take a lot of damage. Uh, two, we want to make sure they're like somewhat decently equipped. Mostly just the pro tag because you you need him for the damage. And yeah, we can level up weapons every now and then, but honestly, it's not like super needed, to be honest with you. Especially since there's ways to do a lot of damage that don't cost a lot of gold. And we'll be getting access to those pretty soon, actually. And the reason I do want to pay the money here, if chat was curious, instead of just coming back later, he opens up a shortcut so I can come back here much faster. I could take the little stairs rather than going through the whole dungeon. Look, there's the merchant chat. So we could buy items from him, but he's going to be the more expensive version. Yes, yeah, so he's charging double for Cups of Wishes. Shake your head, chat. We are not doing that at all. Good save here, though. Which I might as well as. So yeah, we need probably one more level for the upcoming boss. If the other party members happen to level, it's nice. Uh, I think I'm actually going to switch to using Spear for a little bit here. It's funny it did the swap animation even though she wasn't here. So I need to use the... Oh, when it says whack, that's when a crit happens for clarity. Uh, I need to eventually use... Oh, he's really, really aggressive. The spear a little bit more to build up weapon XP. I don't know if I'll ever, like, bother leveling it, to be honest with you. I'm gonna hopefully not level it, actually. 
For the other characters, I don't care if they gain weapon levels. I'd prefer to keep leveling the sword because I need it for later. Or else the end half of the game might be a bit annoying. So let's get an idea of how much weapon experience I just gained myself. Yeah, that was like only 16. Yeah, because I've leveled so much, it's kind of hard for me to level weapons here. Which is a bit unfortunate. That is a side effect of the game. It's like, you think it would be really easy to level weapons, but if you end up leveling like I did, trying to get money, you get punished super hard. So we could take this cannon person, by the way, if we wanted to. Let's go ahead and kill the flower. Let's go this way for now. I'll take the little warps here. So we need the sprite to potentially injure the enemies here. So I'm just going to go ahead and play as the sprite for a little bit. Oh, he actually reached with the spear. Proud of him. I'm just going to make sure he can't attack me. That's all I care about here. It's kind of annoying he backed up, but there's not much I could do about it now. I could switch to the pro I could switch the protagonist over to a bow, maybe. Oh, got him. There we go. Did you like it took 23 damage from that? That's insane. So I think if I want the sprite to live, I gotta just control them manually for a bit, because they're not gonna dodge on their own. Okay. Uh I'll switch him back over to the sword for now. So funny enough, we're coming up to a very easy part to die in, by the way. So I'm, I'm going to do a safety save here. Ah! Yeah, these werewolves are no joke. I could take so much damage. Now, fortunately, protagonist is good. Sprite's probably dead, though. I don't think there's anything I could really do to save the sprite. I guess I could emergency candy them. Oh. Wow, and they heal themselves. That is the worst, actually. So fortunately, we are really tanky. Our sprite is probably going to die any moment. And you can see why this is an annoying fight. They did 63 damage and killed the sprite literally from full health. Oh, don't sell knock me, please. This fight is so annoying. Okay. So we can dodge. There is, like, some strategy to it. Unfortunately, he just jabbed my input there. That kind of sucked. I needed you to slice, not thrust. Stop thrusting. Do the slash attack. It's what I want. It's got more range. Which is ironic. There we go. Okay, hit sword level two. Oh, I knew you'd come. Thank you. Okay, let's go. We have to save Dialog. Chie joined again. So that's a little extra thing you have to do if you abandon the girl. It's the game's way of punishing you, essentially. Now, this proves to be a little bit of a problem for us. I need the sprite alive to do something. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to switch oh, the girl to Axe. Let's just briefly go back and heal. It doesn't make sense to pay 150 re to revive when you could just use the inn. Really need her to move quicker. There we go. 
So we're just going to take a little detour. I might have been able to save the sprite. Maybe I could have spent another candy, but literally you saw it. I, even if I had healed to full, the, the crit was there. So despite leveling up, this sprite still got one shot. Well, speaking of which, let's give her some weapon XP. So Axe is actually fairly strong compared to some of the other weapons. It's just its range is kind of mediocre. So I might use her to kind of uh, get some nice damage on enemies. Yeah, see her taking like 14 is insane. I need her to basically survive a room or two. Which is not as hard as it sounds because we'll, we could go back to the shop. So we're going to rest up. I'm going to give her at least some armor. So it's not like a completely miserable experience in the next dungeon. And this time I get to take advantage of the shortcut. Ally, please. I beg of you to follow me properly. So yeah, that is the big problem in Secret of Mana. They love getting stuck on things. Which could be kind of annoying if you're trying to go fast. Like there, she just did whatever she wanted there. So we don't care about leveling their weapons at all. We're actually not going to be using weapons outside of, I think, two, bo two more bosses to kill bosses. So we just have to get to the point where we can smoothly go through. Nikki loves this game. Welcome, Shaky. We gotta get through the rough early game. Okay, I got more than enough to get another upgrade, which is good. I love this sprite has more HP than the girl does that normally doesn't happen. So there we go. Here we go. They should do the stupid running. There we go. I love watching them run into the beds. It's my favorite thing, chat. Okay, so we need to get at least one upgrade on both of them. And then we'll move forward. I should have enough gold for this. So taking the shortcut there bought us a lot of time. Uh... I could get double chain vest here, I think is the right call into get an elbow pad. Then we'll restock our candies. I think that's the best it's really going to be for a while. I could grind for more money, but I'd rather not waste, waste chat's time with that. So I could have bought stuff here or later on in the same dungeon that we're going to. We'll get another opportunity. So that's six more defense. I'll sell the armor that we have now. Oops, I forgot. Go, go to, gotta go here. Three more defense. Is the remake of this any good? I don't think it is. At least I heard the soundtrack and I felt offended. <laughs> I was not a fan of the remix music at all. I basically just instantly dropped it, all interest in it when I heard it. Okay. So we got them like sort of tankier. We'll we'll take that. We'll have to we'll have to deal with sort of tankier. Notice still that even if I get four defense, they're still potentially going to die in one hit. There's really not much I could do about that until later. Saber game again. So this time for real, let's make some progress. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of the kind of weird clunky 3D look of the game. I'm definitely more of a sprite person over 3D. And then as I said before, the remakes of the songs are just like actively... I felt were offensive. <laughs> I don't know how the game controls or what they updated, if anything. But that was enough for me to say no. Okay, we're gonna kill enemies so that they can follow us a little easier. And since the boy is aggressive... I can rely on his AI to kind of bully enemies. So I can play as the girl for a little bit, I guess. How did she miss? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so the boy will act up as, as the cleanup crew. Plus, if you remember, since I've told him to be aggressive, he'll do more damage than he's normally supposed to. I think it's intended that his AI does more damage if he's set to aggressive, but he specifically acts a bit weird with his stats. So yeah, like I stunned for that. I stunned that enemy with one damage to set up that kill. So fortunately, I think I can lean on the boy's very aggressive AI to kind of kill things. Numnu got more skill with the boomerang, nice. 
So more weapon charge level equals more impressive attacks. I'm gonna ignore these enemies for now. I'm gonna hopefully not need too much more, but we'll see. I need to go before they take a million damage. Please, please. Oh, that's fine. You smack them. Get your revenge hits in. Because I didn't kill those other enemies, the enemy up there didn't spawn. That was interesting. I'd like the girl to get an axe proficiency, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm now at the level that I want to be in. By the way, I need the axe for those two things that I just knocked down. Now we can get into the dungeon proper. So I don't have what I need to go across there yet. So at the moment, this is only a shortcut. A shortcut I can't take advantage of until later. So yeah, the game is more about kind of tandem attacking. Like, once an AI hits an enemy, we just kind of wail on it and they explode. Uh, I'm not going to open the chest. It's probably a trap. No sense in taking extra damage at all. It does not make sense to do. Num new hit level 5. Nice. So we're getting a little extra HP. I'm out of one touch kill range. So we potentially wind up getting a lot of XP here. The boy will be very aggressive. I'm going to take advantage of his AI. I'm going to do that to dodge the damage. I really need them to be more aggressive. Poison Needles. Moo Gold. Wow, I think I just lost a character. That, that sucks. Huh, that could not have gone worse. We were very close to leveling the other character. Well, guess I got to do the dungeon like this for now. I'm not going back. Okay, so now we've now we've unlocked the path over there. Unfortunate. So damage, as I said before, racks up super fast. I think the girl is tanky enough to do what I need her to do. So I don't think I'll revive the sprite, to be honest with you. She has to make it to the end of the dungeon, though. If she doesn't make it to the end, I'm in trouble. So I'll continue for now. Yeah, reviving right now is very expensive. Like, I would have to kill, like, 20-something enemies or go back to the inn every time. And you saw that was, like, with armor upgrades, how fast they died. So I'm gonna hope the girls' armor upgrades are good enough. I'm gonna try to run through here. It's a whip. So if we came from the palace, we would have been here. And we would have been able to cross this gap because we don't have the whip yet. I'll kill you for emergency money. Welcome, Zero Raider. Hope you're doing well. The cloud overlay is kind of nice. Our AI pathing, not as nice. Come on. Knock you down so you don't spell cast on me. Run so they can't spell cast on me. Okay, we're through. We're now at the meat of the dungeon. Oh, no. I want nothing to do with you. I think we gotta go in like an S shape, if I remember. I think I gotta go this way. Oh. Never mind. I remembered that there was a path there. I forgot you cannot destroy those. My bad. Did you cure yourself off screen? What a jerk. That's fine. We'll go this way then. Oh, we're out of there. <laughs> Listen, chat, we don't want to mess with any of these enemies yet. There are way easier enemies to kill for XP. We're not going to worry about that. If I need gold, there's much easier. Oh, I got Moogle. That is really not good. That is really not good. I'm in the stunlock. Uh, please don't get stunlocked. Okay. <sighs> she took 33. I need her to live, though. No! Oh, come on. I need her to live. Or I can't do my strategy. Just, no, just walk past him. Come on. Please don't. It's so expensive if she dies. I need a second party member, or else I risk uh, a very unfortunate end against one of the bosses that we're about to fight. I don't need the sprite alive, but I need somebody that isn't the protagonist to be alive, if that makes sense. I don't care who it is. It just has to be somebody. Did she seriously die? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to have to... 
<sighs> We're gonna have to go back for our revives. So unfortunate. The furniture killed me. So unfortunate. The boy has all the proper defense. They're missing like one item. Okay, curiosity, money check to recover from this. What am I looking at? 368, okay. I can still do what I need to do. It's just very annoying. Yeah, it's just, it's just unfortunate really. Okay, do some decent damage there. Yeah, see the boy's the right level. They were like maybe one level under where they needed to be. But unfortunately, they were also like five defense too low. So they just kind of got one bow comboed and died. So I can revive one. I was going to have, if she survived, I was going to buy an equipment upgrade on the way there just to like guarantee that she lived. And the sad part is like she was actually really close to getting to it without dying. Uh, this next, okay, let me think. Since I don't have a ranged weapon anymore, let me take this. I think I need this. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, that was oh, that was such a clean werewolf skip too. I don't feel like dealing with them. So I believe this is where the revive is. So like I wasn't super far. Soldier dot dot dots. We come to help. Huh? Uh. Where's Dylock? What? Uh, maybe with the witch? Where did the stream go? That's on you. That's on you, Zero Raider. No drops today. It's helpless. These guys seem like zombies. Just like the people in Pandora. You can bet the witch is behind this. Are you going to the witch's lair? Up to the next floor. With three people. Step on to platform uh, bridge. Platform? Let's go see it. Why can I not talk to this guy? He's not even dot dot dotting me. Whatever. Meow, I got caught, per. Need anything? I do. So I'll show you what I would have purchased. I was going to give her the hair ribbon for defensive reasons. I'm sadly going to have to buy this cup of wishes, and maybe I could get my candies back. But yeah, unfortunate. Sorry, Sprite, you're going to be under level for a little bit. We'll make up your level later. So she needs to be alive. And let's switch over to her. And let's give her more defense, because that'll buy me time. So she's taking three less damage now. She's taking like 21 before, which is kind of high. Can I save with you though? I really prefer to. Sprite is dead, I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> I can be real with you, chat. I would literally have to kill like 50 something enemies to revive the sprite. It'll go better once we get past the early game. We just gotta get through like the actual semi challenging part of the game. Oh, baited. So I'm gonna do this so that it doesn't hit me. Oh, come on. So close. Oh, I went in the wrong door. I think I gotta go... Okay, I'm waiting the... I'm trying to wait out the Moogle timer. There we go. We're gonna hit that so I could get through. There we go. Thank you for the good luck in Parameter. Hopefully you get some rest. So there should be, like, another horrible thing around the corner. Yep, there it is. Just don't want him to do anything. If he doesn't do anything, we're fine. There's way easier enemies to fight for XP. The chair is not bad. Oh, I couldn't make the boomerang curve. I'm really hoping she levels off of this or I'm in trouble. Why? Right, how close is she to leveling? That's the question. 44. How close am I to leveling? 48. Hmm. I mostly just want to heal. Oh, I 
need her to be aggressive for a second. There we go. There we go. Did some teamwork. Alright. Okay, we can level off of this. We're fine. We're fine. We can level off of this. Okay, I think we'll be fun. Safety level. 44 gold inside, not bad. So she's tankier now. So hopefully this is good enough. How many healing items do I have, by the way? Three. Hmm. <sighs> I'm not sure if that's enough. We'll find out. We'll find out the hard way, I guess. Well, champ, time to risk it. You noisy little children. See what you get. This boss, boss battle is infamous for being rather annoying. <laughs> Just by the way, chat. It's already not an easy boss battle. I have to think about this. So I need her to... Probably have the bow. Bow or boomerang is fine. I think I need the sword. Unless the axe does more. No, it doesn't. Because I upgraded the sword. Hmm. Okay, so there's a strategy I'm going to try to do. I haven't done this in a while, but this will be interesting. Allow me the pleasure of sending you to Thanatos. So we need the protagonist to not get attacked. So there's a way I can try to bait the enemy into hitting a specific character. And if it goes well, it will only focus that character. If we're really desperate, the protagonist has basically full gear and extra level and decent strength. So he can survive a couple of stray hits. She will probably die in two hits. I'm hoping she could survive two hits successfully. I'm not going to greed, though. I'm going to heal probably almost every hit unless it does like 30. So I'm hoping that extra level up is the safety health that we need. I gave her the hair piece and an armor upgrade. I'm hoping that's enough to put her past a certain threshold. So we'll find out if I did that right or not. Dialogue, Eileen, what have you done with him? Or excuse me, Eleni. What have I done? Well, I just sent him to the ruins in Pandora. My magic doesn't seem to work too well. I couldn't handle him. But Thanatos wanted him, so I sent him there. Thanatos? of a secret organization that intends to overthrow the kingdom. What the- Well, way to just reveal his master plan, Eleni. How could you? <laughs> He's already dispatched most of the people in Pandora. All that's left is for Sir Thanatos to storm the castle from the ruins. Now, would you be so kind as to feed yourself to my cute little spiky? Okay. I would like to ironically do what she says. But we, we just got to get through the first part. See what happens. Okay, Chad, here, here's where the stress comes in. Oh, she got knocked unconscious. No! She got knocked unconscious. That's really bad. That wastes time. It Does this controller also have drift? What is this? Oh, that's annoying. Uh, I'm in trouble here. So, the person with the ranged weapon was unconscious. So, I'm gonna get punished for that. I could take a couple of stray hits, as I said before. I cannot afford to take multiple stray hits. So, this is super, super not ideal that this has happened. I'm gonna hit him, and this should break his little stupid cycle with me. Oh. I got hit before I could heal. Okay, now... Now I think I've game over. I don't think there's a way I can run it from here. I would have been fine if I could have healed right before he landed. I think now it's officially not winnable. That's so unfortunate. As you can see, he knocks you down repeatedly. But if you... Yeah, this is the other thing I'm worried about. So my intended goal before I got really, really, really unlucky is that uh, if you feed yourself to him on purpose, it actually stops most of his nonsense attacks. So like, I'll try. It's possible he has enough damage that he'll be fine. 
But anytime I'm near his mouth, I'm in big trouble. There's not much I could do about it. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. And that, I think, is a guaranteed hit. I don't think I can dodge it. So he is at least fairly tanky. He's, like, the only reason I might survive long enough to do something. But the downside here... What is going on? Okay, so apparently both of my controllers have drift. That is really unfortunate. In a run that requires you to be precise, that is really unfortunate. I'm going to take a safety heal right now. I, ooh, it didn't actually hit. Oh, that's making my menuing so annoying. Switch controllers, please. So now I'm going to go have to buy new controllers after this. How annoying. With sheer concentration, I might be able to survive this by reacting to him. I'm not that far off from killing him. As long as he doesn't knock me down, I could do decent damage. I think I need four hits to kill him? It might be doable. I really wish he would stop doing the ball attack, though. Oh, that's... Unlucky. Okay, I'm gonna go down here to hopefully dodge. Oh, he went upwards. I think this is GG now. I misread what he was doing. Oh, we're so close, but I don't think we'll get it. Oh, no, I barely... Okay, I barely did it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I was so worried he was gonna flame breath me again. That would have been GG. Oh, so unfortunate. Thank you for that extra defense on the protagonist. Okay, we're past the hard part of the game. We're good now. I have like one more thing to do, but it's not anywhere near as stressful as that. Deep breath, we got through it. I was really worried he was gonna flame breath on the side. That's why I thought it was over. If he flame breath me, I would have taken 50 and I would have died. Ah, forgive me, sorry. The magical herbs that grow in the forest have withered. I've been trading the villagers for Thanatos' herbs. From now on, I'll simply be a normal elderly lady and live peacefully. You're looking for that other kid. He's at the ruins south of Pandora. You can take what's in the treasure chest. I don't need it anymore. The orb in the underground palace need to use the magic of ice, but I don't have any more magic power left. Oh, don't worry. We're going to solve that problem. Okay, now we're gonna get the questionable goods. Now that she's older, she doesn't need the whip. You take that as you will, chat. And we're gonna get the saddest amount of gold. 50, if I remember correctly. So sad. Allow me to send you outside. Absolutely. Get me out of here. <laughs> Tylek is alive! <laughs> I'm like the party. Bandon, can you hear me? Come immediately to the Water Palace. It's Luca. Now what's the matter? I've got to go. I'm going too. I'm worried about Dylok, but I can't save him alone. Too old to be a Belmont. I'll go with you. In return, you can help rescue Dylok. Yippee! I'm coming along. You can count on me. Okay. So as I said before, we got past the hard part of the game. We're almost home free. So the girl's basically going to be like the full-time whip user. Actually, no, 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 no. Let's make her the axe user. She's gonna be with us basically the whole game. And then the sprite... Guess I could just give the whip. I do like the whip weapon, but I don't feel like grinding. <laughs> so it's fine. So we'll level the other characters in a little bit. We're about to fight enemies that are like way easier to control. That give way more XP. We're going to fight a few of those just to make sure we have enough levels. So as I said before, the thing I'm really worried about in the game is not our damage of our friendly characters. We essentially have a way to cheese every boss in the game. So that's like kind of a non-issue. I'm going to whip you a little bit. I'm now determined. Oh, 
mistimed it. He's still iframing. Ah, he did get the kill. The girl got stuck though, so I gotta go back. So we have a shortcut to go back to the Water Palace if I want to, and I think I'll take it. I probably want the AI to be aggressive once we're out of this dungeon. But right now I just need them to follow me, but sometimes they might get stuck on the, the bats and stuff. So we'll see. <laughs> the dodges. The dodges were top tier from them. I'll give them that. That was absolute top tier dodging. So I think what I want to do is I want to give the main character a different weapon to level for a little bit. So let's give him the spear. We'll place him for a little bit with the spear. Let's go this way. Let's proceed to go to the water temple with the little switch. I'll restore you. Want to save the game? Absolutely. Undine, the elemental of water lies in a cave behind a waterfall. It's east of the steps leading to this palace. You've got to find her. Her seal in the palace has failed. I fear she's in great danger. Which is ironic because I think the boss that's in there is one of the easiest bosses in the game. It's a can you stand not cardinal in a cardinal direction relative to the boss? If yes, prosperity. If no, profound sadness. So anyway, we're going to be fighting several enemies that are somewhat easy to kill. So once we come over here, let's try to get some XP. She has weapon skill leveled up. Nice. So let's see how much XP I have on this weapon. 77. I think I could get away with like one more kill on it, and then I'll not use the spear anymore. I guess to explain what I'm doing, it's kind of like meta knowledge, so I really don't want to get the kill on one of them. Can they please hit one of them? Thank you. Oh, I missed. Unfortunate. Oh, I can get the kill. I just need one of them dead. Just one of them dead and we're fine. Okay. Please tell me that did not level it. Good. So the way the game kind of works from my understanding of the meta knowledge, the final weapon of the game takes a look at all of your weapon levels and gives you a mount. I think it's like 12.5 damage per weapon level, but it also just flat out adds the weapon experience to your damage. So if I leave this spear at 86, I'm going to be adding 86 damage on my uh, critical attacks at the end of the game. So there you go, chat. There's my meta. So I just need to make sure he never, ever levels basically anything. But I can use other weapons with him briefly. So we're going to do this for a little bit, hopefully get them a level. And then we're going to go inside the water temple to just heal. The sword leveling is fine. That's the one we're going to pump for sure. There we go. They're slightly tankier. Boomerang is at 62. We could get it a little higher. So we're going to do just a teeny tiny bit of grinding on these enemies because there's three of them. They're here. And if the other characters happen to get weapon XP, it's nice, but I don't really care. If they happen to die, it's not the end of the world. We just go back and get them healed. The boss is not super difficult, although apparently they did die. Wow, that's kind of sad. Damage in this game is so high early on. And then hit level 9, okay. Boomerang's at 71, let's get more damage. So I get 9 per kill. I think I could safely get another kill then. So we're gonna go back and revive the sprite so the sprite could get XP going forward. And then I think I have enough levels that I'm fine for the next boss fight. So he cannot use the boomerang or the spear anymore. Uh, I want access to the bow for now, so I'm actually going to switch back to the sword for safety reasons. 
if I happen to be off in weapon XP later on, or if I want to showcase a glitch, I should probably uh, level the fist at some point to showcase something stupid. So I guess that weapon I'm okay with leveling. If I want to showcase a glitch in our run. So yeah, let's do that. So there are certain uh, charge attacks that have very interesting behaviors on how the game reacts to you. Probably the most infamous one is whip level 5. So having a character focus whip early means I could show that earlier. Um, and the other one is fist level 4. It can make you do things that you're not normally supposed to be able to do. But it is a pain to grind up the levels of some of the weapons. So we'll see how far I get with the fist leveling. I don't have like too much time to get to level 4. But if I don't, it's not the end of the world. It is funny walking around punching things though, I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> Got sucker punched. So yeah, we're just gonna try to avoid as much as we can. We're already at the boss battle. What the? So here's the deal. They should be set to keep away, so I shouldn't have to worry too much. We gotta get through the initial point. So it starts off as kind of like an innocent battle, just it kind of flails around. It's bit, This is like the Magikarp of the series. It doesn't do anything until you do enough damage to it. Then bad things happen. I'm gonna charge up to do more damage on this thing. Ooh, it, it got bonked. Boss fight time. How did they line up with them? Gotta be kidding me. If they die, they die, Chad. I don't know what to tell you. So anyway, I'm gonna be standing diagonal. How are they always in the wrong position? That's crazy. Again, if they die, they die. There's not much I could do about that. So as long as I stand diagonal of them, the boss can't really do anything to you. You just do this over and over. Boss fight! There we go, I'm doing the right strategy. This time it didn't go horribly wrong. This is the intended strat. Look at it go. You cured yourself, how annoying. You want to get this slash animation just because this is a before it hits wider. But thrust is also kind of broken, so that's fine. I managed to hit the hidden spot to dodge the boss. Although it constantly kept spamming cure makes me sad. If you are curious, enemies do run out of MP. I will go here and I will bully this boss. <laughs> right, chat? I will bully. I think it tried there and it actually ran out of MP. Oh no, it did. I mean, I'm too scared to move. I feel like I'm in the perfect position. There we go, chat. Much like Richter in uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, there's a slight weakness to the boss. Please don't heal yourself again, I'm gonna be so sad. We would have killed this boss already if we'd uh, not gotten so many cures. It's fine. Listen, I'm gonna slap you silly. Yeah, like, is this not a way easier boss, like, comparatively to the Spiky Tiger? Spiky Tiger feels like it should have been later in the game, I'll be real with you. I do not feel like that should have been an early boss. You could kind of, like, dodge Spiky Tiger by standing in certain areas of the stage, but you have very limited time to react. Unless you're, like, in the run button, there's not much you could do. Game, please stop doing the thrust. Please. Thank you. There we go. Boss fight over. And look at that, they survive, so they get XP. Numnu hit level 7. Only Numnu did. Oh, I can't check yet. That's fair. Thank you. I am Undine. My power is your reward. I'll give you two kinds of magic. Both of them are really broken if you know what you're doing. Chie can use my recovery and defense magic, which I actually won't be using much in this playthrough. Not with Undine, anyway.
Numnu can use my battle magic and will absolutely break the game's balancing. <laughs> so there we go, chat. Numnu is now like the number one at bosses unless we do straight up glitches. And me? Your mana sword will one day become more powerful than any magic. Translation, you too dumb to spell. You can receive an elemental's power, such as Ice Saber on your sword. Chie can cast Ice Saber on your weapon to turn enemies into snowmen. And this. Take this with you. It is one of the mana weapons. We receive Poldart, aka Throwable Spear. Call me anytime. Oh, we're gonna be calling you, alright. Gain Undine's powers. Well, chat. No one can stop me now! Oh, they're not kidding. Listen, chat, there is a... We'll call it a flaw with the magic system in this game. And it is hilariously too good. Uh, let's go ahead and swap over to the other character. So as long... You've got to be kidding me. Please don't. Please don't drift on me mid-playthrough. So... I need to use, I think, 12 casts in order to go from level 0 to level 1. And then I think it's 20, and then it scales into some insane number. Listen, I'm going to be very blunt with you. We need this to hit level 1, then level 2 eventually. Freeze is one of the most powerful generic spells. We're going to be using this basically the entire game unless we can figure out an enemy's weakness. And the best part is... In fact, why don't we showcase how dumb it is? So see how that animation descended there? Sure it would be sure it would be a shame if I could just loop spells. Although I did get hit out of it, sadly. So I gotta get used to the menuing again. So right as the sprite goes right as it goes away into the animation, if you're fast enough, you'll recast it. And notice the enemy did not get out of the spell that time. So if I had more MP, I could have looped that on them infinitely. Except we'll do mediocre damage to them. That'll show them. Uh, let's level Fist since we're here. Chia hit level 8. Nice. Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. So yeah, we need the sprite to level so that we can loop magic infinitely. There's something that can also make it way easier. If you're playing with two people, it's also somewhat easy to do other glitches with magic. But there is a thing we can use to kind of counterbalance not having two controllers. What are they doing? I guess I should tell them to be aggressive again, as I just bully this enemy. I'm doing this so they get catch-up XP, since they did miss a couple boss battles. As I said before, I want the sprite with more magic, for sure. So ideally, we're going to basically be grinding a little bit just to get magic to level 1. And then our damage scales to like infinity after we do this. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to them now. Because I know we're going to get cured, because she heals both HP and MP. And we got, I think, 4 casts. We need to do 8 more? So I need two more instops, and where I need to level, in order to get to the next level. Use Undine's power to stuff the lava in the underground palace. Crystal orbs are made to respond, or react to an elemental's power. How are we doing money-wise, by the way? Can I go uh, buy the other equipment that I missed earlier? 1,318? I'm gonna take that as a yes. So one thing we also have to start buying, which is really expensive this early in the game, are the fairy walnuts. They are essentially a full MP recovery, so that means potentially I could chain 8 spells together, and that is strong enough to kill most bosses in the game. So we're gonna pay 500 to kill a boss, essentially. So I do not mind just grinding on some enemies. So in fact, what we're gonna do... I'm going to... Spell spam again here. Kill those fish. So we could start paying towards a fairy walnut. And then what we're gonna do is... I can, also, I can also make the girl do stuff, but honestly, I don't really care about her magic yet. She has one really good ability. So if I want to level the spell, she just has to remedy everybody. And that's all I'm looking to do. I basically just loop it over and over. I just have to get used to where to menu, since it's been a while since I played. 
Although I think she, because I multi-targeted, canceled my spell cast. It's kind of a shame. Now, damage can stack with itself, so I can potentially just stack the entire health bars of these enemies if I need to. So I think... No, don't magic rope. I think if I just have it cast her on herself, that's fine. Technically, I want her to cast it on the boy, but that's fine if we don't. So yeah, it's just basically this over and over. I don't have more MP, sadly, so I'll just do... Hmm. I actually don't want to Ice Saber, because that actually slows down the kill speed. Ice Saber is really good if you're, like, really underleveled for an area and you're just trying to avoid combat. But I am underleveled, so I don't want to avoid combat. The moment we get the next spell... So right now we have Ice. The moment we get the next element, it's basically over. Well, did that restore my MP, actually? Question. Let's find out. No, it did not. So now I can cast five spells. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do that one more time. And we need Fairy Walnuts. So I can spend all my money to get two Fairy Walnuts, which would mean that I have guaranteed level one and enough for the boss. I think I'm going to play it a little safer. Just a little bit, though. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So we're gonna play it just a little safer. So I'll be slightly overleveled, I guess? I want to be at about 100 health with the sprite by the time we do something else. So essentially I'll know. I'll be at 11 MP once I hit about 100 health. And when I hit like 110-ish, I should have 12. So my goal is to hit 12 somewhat soon. If I level her magic, it's just kind of whatever. It's not really needed. Need to remember, it's more like... I hate that it goes the magic rope with her. Nah, I need to target her with this. There's one thing you could do to make leveling her magic a little less tedious, and we'll take advantage of that later, I think. So here's showcasing the magic looping. Nice, a level. So out of MP, and you know what? You want to ice weapon us just to showcase it. Why not? Oh, fun fact, chat. I have another fun fact for you when it comes to this game. So you would assume, chat, if you cast something like Ice Saber on yourself, and the fact that your weapons are frosty, and the fact that you freeze enemy solid when you hit them, would you have assumed that that would have made your weapons uh, ice or water type damage? Because if you did, uh, you're actually wrong. It doesn't actually grant elemental damage. So if you play with the game long enough, you realize the game designers, I don't know if it was on purpose, but it just does not benefit you at all. I thought it was hilarious. All right, so we level fist to level one, that's fun. So if you're if you're worried about doing elemental damage by accident against enemies that are strong against it, it actually it doesn't do that at all. Yeah, so it's more about like what status ailments the weapons cause and whether or not you want to use them. So funny enough, as I said before, frost just makes it really annoying to kill enemies. So obviously, if you're trying to farm, don't like ever use it. It's terrible. It has the one MP remedy, so it's technically the cheapest of the game to spam over and over to level. I think the game thinks you're going to be spamming a lot of cure magic or something to level it. Anyway, we got to go back to Gaia's navel, so we'll go back, I guess. But the next elemental damage is absolutely busted. I don't know how many people knew about this when they played growing up. It was something I noticed from just playing with the weapons long enough. But with the Earth Weapon Elemental, which normally petrifies an enemy, it has kind of like a hidden mechanic. Basically, if they get petrified, they lose half of their HP. So what can end up happening is if you cast the Earth Weapon often and start ranking it up so it lasts longer, you basically just have the HP of every normal fight in the game, which is hilarious. It's to the point where cannon travel 
if you happen to land on an enemy, you could just one-shot enemies. Don't mind me, just gonna sucker punch you real quick. Uh, do I need to do anything at Neko's? I don't think I do. What am I doing at, uh, da, 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 gold wise? 1500? Okay, so I can afford three fairy walnuts if I want to. I can restock my candies. I think I want to do. Let's we'll get a little extra cash here. Oh, you see him trying to react to me? Get out of here. Oh, unconscious. I gotta wait. Yeah, he was scared of me throwing hands. The reason I edged up to the screen there, chat, you might remember there was a pink flower there last time. Depending on how you move enemies in this game and how you scroll the screen will determine basically what you end up fighting from my understanding. Oh, let's go to Guy's Navel. So this I could have chosen to do at the beginning of the game if chat was curious. So I could have gotten the spear from the Water Temple Use this to go to Gaia's navel and collected the sprite first. The downside to that is you don't get to see any of the dialogue involved with, uh... Essentially the girl. It just skips straight to the werewolf cutscene. Which is disappointing. So, I didn't really want to skip that. So see that enemy there? If we had the earth elemental, he would have died there. Unfortunate. I could level our weapons, but... Eh. As I said before, the thing that's going to end up killing them more often than not is making sure we we keep earth magic up when we do have to fight. And uh, pretty much magic spam on bosses. So let's go get our m fairy walnuts. I don't have enough for more than two. Ooh, I can't purchase them here. Hmm, that's a problem. Hmm. Who sells the fairy walnuts? I thought this place did. I know Neko does for a thousand. I could have gotten it back at the castle for a thousand, but that wouldn't have been worth it. Uh, five magic casts is not good enough. Alright, what I'm gonna do... Let's make our characters a little tankier. And then I'm gonna go look for a magic walnut. I think I just need one for this dungeon. I'm gonna be forced to kind of burn it early, which is a bit unfortunate. Also, I need to remember equipment is literally in an equipment menu, not a rotating menu. Let's see, we'll do that. Equip there. Bring her to this, give her more defense. I can sell those other things so I can get the other walnut. And I could give the spiky suit to this character, so they got three more defense. So I should be able to afford a walnut no matter what. So if I really need to, I could get one later. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So at this point, I can restock on my candies if I need them. I think I will. <laughs> I would like to not be out of candies for a serious fight. Then we have a little bit of money left over for two medicinal herbs as backup. And I can afford to get one more candy if I wasn't maxed, because I'm going to get at least one kill. So let me think, who is the fairy walnuts other than Neko at the castle with a thousand? Who has it? Does the other town next to this one have it? Does chat remember when I was in that menu if they were there or not? I'm gonna go look for them. It is absolutely worth doing because it's gonna save me like five minutes or more <laughs> if I do this. So unfortunately, I haven't played in a while, so I forgot where the fairy walnuts were. Uh, da -da 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 -da. But we're gonna be purchasing those at basically every shop. In fact, we're going to get that over equipment from this point forward for a little while. Because they're actually just that broken. Let's take a little walk through here. Take my vengeance out on the Lily real quick. 
So the, the sprite does have the frost whip in case I need to potentially get enemies away from me, which is kind of interesting. Hmm. Might have been like right before this area. I don't think it's worth going through Haunted Forest again, but it might be worth just backtracking to this one village. If it's not there, I have to think of a backup. I mean, I guess I just have to find the merchant again. If I really, if I really have to purchase them at a thousand, I think I know where Neko is. But it's like, not super great. Num new hit level one with the whip. Goodbye, treasure chest. We're getting closer to showing off the whip glitch. Please have the walnut. Oh, you didn't have the walnut. Damn. Uh, in that case, I'll get a safety revive item. <laughs> right, chat? That'll that'll work. Unfortunate. Yeah, so I think Deco always has it because he's got a stronger stock. I'll kill a couple enemies just in case. But basically, whenever they would sell chocolate and honey, I think is the other healing item, uh, then you would also get potentially the fairy walnuts, which as I said before, are really good. There's also a couple enemies in one of the upcoming areas where we could kill them and get them. I believe it was from the... I think they're the owls in the ice area. So there's a couple of ways I could get it without spending money necessarily. I'd prefer not to farm them since it's RNG. Uh, but if they're there, I can do it if I need to. AI, please. Yeah, we gotta get them unstuck. Fun. We'll open this up. You happy, game? Oh. Cute. Time bombed. Absolutely worth it, chat. Just get time bombed in the face. You know what? We'll take that. They got through that. That's all that matters. Okay, I was curious if you could run cancel the melee attack since it had been a while. Okay. <sighs> I'm assuming we'll see them in the dungeon, so I'll go a little further. If not, I might have to actually do this boss the le legit way, which will make me sad. So sad. I never want to do bosses legit in this game if I can avoid it. <laughs> right, chat? Too much effort. No, thank you. I'm so sad this person didn't have the healing item, though. I'm so disappointed in you, dwarf. So disappointed. Like, you had everything I wanted, but, like, the thing I actually needed. So unfortunate. Yeah, I'm like, no, 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 no. I mean, at least I have an okay amount of healing items. I bought a couple wishes. You know what? Okay. Safety. In case Neko's not in this dungeon, because I know where he would be normally. I could go all the way back to the other area and spend money and get it, but I feel like that's a trip too far. I'm instead going to spend some on the chalice. If I have to get money, it's fine. We'll go kill things in the dungeon for some money. I can use her MP to heal us so I can save my candies for later. And I can use her magic to stall taking damage. So sadly, we have to use a little bit of the sprite's magic here. So I think what would this I think the smart thing to do. Why don't we play a little peekaboo with the enemies that are here? So what we're gonna do is since I wanna level the sprites magic anyway, game please. Or more specifically, controller, please. I can't believe I have controller drift on two different controllers. That's crazy. We're gonna have him kill these three targets. And then we're going to go back to the inn and sleep. So that way I get all my MP back. And we're getting closer to leveling up the magic that I do need anyway. Nice, GA leveled. What a fair amount of damage, Chad. 
that that was fair, right? <laughs> totally fair. That was totally fair. So what I'm doing is essentially paying for the inn. Let's see how much money we got out of that. I got most of the way there. I think if I do that one more time, I'll be able to afford a walnut. So what I can do to kind of compensate is I can level my Undine a little more. So that way it does more damage. So I don't need as many spell casts. Spell levels in this game really greatly impact damage. I don't normally play long enough to see like the max level spell where I think you start getting special graphics. I like, I think it's like level eight or so you start seeing it. Uh, potentially there's a couple of Easter eggs with those. We're not going to grind magic to that point. We're just going to kill this room one more time with ice magic, and then we're going to move on. So that way we potentially save ourselves a lot of time. Because at some point I have to do this anyway, so I don't really care where in the game I have to do it. There we go, we got a nice rhythm going. Getting used to the menuing again, chat. Oh! That damage, though. 220 plus? Nasty. Oh, bomb. I deserve that. I deserve that bomb. That's fair. <laughs> right, chat? That's fair. That's fair. So now we're just going to rest it up. We've gotten 10 extra uses. So I'm getting close to leveling the magic itself. Now, I could level the girl's magic, but as I said before, I don't really honestly see the point. I'm not going to be using ice spells that often. Okay, so I'm within 100 gold. If I really need to farm for a fairy walnut chat, I can do it. That's It's within a reasonable touch distance, and I've now fixed their XP from missing boss fights for sure. So I don't need to fight anymore, unless I need to go to uh, the ruins later. Oh yeah, totally fair. It's doing like 300 damage already. Just wait to see how much it does once it levels. And just think, two more levels, I could put one more spell cast in there. I might kill these enemies legit. See how hard they are normally. Oh, I threw him by getting close. They're going to cure each other. Unfortunate. Oh, please stop spawning more. How many leveled? Nice. No, I'm getting looped. No, I just need them to attack. Okay, I think I need to tell them to be aggressive or something. Them not attacking here is kind of a problem. Let me tell them to be aggressive in this dungeon. Is them not attacking is actually causing us to get hit, like, legit. Not an exaggeration, that's why that's happening. Okay, I don't care about the girl's healing. We could have her healed, because whatever. I don't think her MP matters. So she heals, like, an okay amount. It's just a way to save up on uh, candies, potentially. How did they miss the whip? Can please? Honestly, I think what I should do... I'm gonna lock them in at zero. I want them attacking as quick as possible without moving slow. I think that's the strat. I'll leave them like this for now. Uh, could use her healing magic again. Okay. So you should be able to get through this mostly fine. Oh, they mistimed. That's unfortunate. And then both of them missed. That sucked. Allies, you really got to type taking 30-something damage. Seriously? 
All right, never mind. I, I can't be aggressive, apparently. She's still too weak. It's weird because I don't even think she's missing that much. I think she's just missing her armor, but she's not even like, I don't know. That's fine. Let's go back and heal. It's not a big deal. Okay, whatever game. <laughs> right, Chad? We got all the money I needed. Yeah, her getting more levels just means we have cheaper alternatives to candy. That's basically what her MP amounts to in just casual travels. But I'm actually going to be spending most of it on the next elemental weapon. Like, I want that up basically 24-7 whenever I'm fighting something. The ability to just half health an enemy from them going from 200 to 100 is kind of crazy. It leads to a lot of two shots and one shots with stronger gear. Right, so I'm going to ignore them this time. I don't think I care. <sighs> you guys really going to be stuck here? Please, don't get caught. Oh, I forgot to show off a glitch. My bad. Remind me to go back later at the end of the stream. There is a uh, glitch with magic rope that makes the game unplayable. But I have to be in a very specific area. I really hope she doesn't die. I'm gonna force her to just heal herself for massive HP. So she already at least heals more than the normal healing items do, sort of. That's a little risky to walk into it like that, but that's fine. So we have enough to go get walnuts when we get the chance later. Just gotta get a little further. So ideally, we want to do a mix of walking and running to kind of tag them through enemies. Who has my whip? Was it the girl? No, it was the sprite. It was the sprite. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. No, just use the whip. Use the whip. What are you doing? No. I got stun lock. Seriously? Oh my gosh. Come on. That, that was a robbery. I literally did the whip attack, but it got interrupted. Like, it did the screen pull, like it was going to do it, and it just didn't activate. That sucks so much. It was, like, actually nonsense. Yeah, I literally got Wombo Combo for sure there. All I needed was the sprite to whip. That's so unfortunate. As I said before, the game gets easier. I just have to get to a specific point. We have everything we need to get bosses easier. I don't have the thing I need to make general gameplay easy. It's We're like, we just have to get to the end of this dungeon and then we're fine. I promise you we'll be fine. But yeah, kind of annoying. I have all this money, but it's not gonna help me because they just die way too quickly. The protagonist, though, pretty good. The sad part is I did make the uh, sprite somewhat tanky, but it just didn't matter. It did not matter at all, sadly. Uh, since this dungeon's gonna make me take it somewhat seriously, let me switch my weapon so I have more range. I'm gonna do... probably sword. I was gonna say, if she got stuck on that ramp there, it'd be so sad. So yeah, I, I took like literally like 80 something damage. That was so gross. I'm gonna try to smack them to get the. Please don't get comboed. Come on. You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> that is so unlucky. I just need them to get through the the goblins. I can't. I can't even upgrade the sprite's gear. This sprite literally has their best in slot already. Game, please. Give me a break here. So disappointed. The game is not cooperating. So I think what I'm going to have to do, let me think about... Is there a different weapon I can use? So polearm is not great because random things can intercept it. I'm thinking about if I need to play as the whip user to get through this. I think I do. I need to hit more than one enemy, so things like throwables are not good because they generally won't do that unless it hits very precisely. But if I whip them, and the boy's aggressive and he can hit take hits, that's fine. 
So I can do like the little whip there, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Now I could get through. I could get through. Just get, get through. Please get through. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Stop getting stun locked. Come on. I'm kill. I'm begging you. Come on. Why did you cure? Hello? Hello? Thank you. Jeez. Please move out of the doorway. Thank you. Jeez. Ridiculous chat. Oh, secret of mana. Getting the AI to do what you what you need them to do sometimes is quite a mystery. Right, so I'm gonna stun them, and this time I'm not gonna get interrupted during the cutscene. Because that definitely d hap Did you seriously hit me after I jumped? So rude. I'm gonna- whatever, they're gonna hit him. I'm almost at the end of the dungeon. It's not a long dungeon. I just had to get through the room. Oh, we're not fighting any of that. Get out of there. Whatever. This is the stage room. You cannot barge in here. We gnomes won't allow it. What a windbag. Oh, that sounds like something Numnu would say. <laughs> Little brat. He's getting whipped. Take this. This is an outrage. Uh-oh. I'm out of here. So sadly, because I don't have fairy walnuts, we have to do this fight semi-legit. I'm so sad that we have to do this fight semi-legit. I'm so sad. Well, wish me luck, chat. This is going to be a bit rough. So this boss has a weakness to the ability that we just gained. So if things go well, we will level here. Alright, so I would have walnutted here normally to destroy the boss. I'm gonna cure in safety. Okay, we killed the boss anyway. Oh, that level up was worth it. Goodbye, boss. Okay, we didn't have to do the fight legit. We're good. <laughs> We're good, chat. We leveled our weapon. I think we leveled our spell at some point. We're good. <laughs> GG. It takes double damage, so I think it has like... Oh, does it have 850 health or something? I love myself healing during that animation though. Also, the thing is, whenever a boss is about to die, you should probably cure up a spell with the girl just so that you could get free uh, usage. In fact, let, why don't I do something like this? So if she heals Num new, just do that to cancel the animation. Right, chat? This this is her secret leveling ground, by the way. <laughs> you like that, chat? You're wondering how to level magic quickly. Just go between the screens repeatedly with self-up characters. It's fine. So now we have stronger cure magic if I really need it. And again, remedy only costs one. So there's no reason to even keep any MP at all when you're playing. Mew, thanks. That oaf was always bugging me. Forgive me. I used you to get some relief. Dolt, serve me and maybe I'll forgive you. Otherwise, I'll throw you to my servant, Bandon. Ah, no. Let me be your servant. Hey, who are you calling a servant? Oh, dear. Oh, no, chat. Oh, dear. Anyway, call me anytime, anywhere. Now close your eyes. Yara, yara, eh, chat. Both you and your wife may summon me. What? Me married to that? Like your style, gnome. Well, that's that. Be seeing you. Now we have the most broken abilities in the game. We got gnome's powers. To the mana seed. Okay, chat. Let's explain why this is broken. Stone Saber costs four. So right now I can only use it twice. But the damage, the damage damage it deals is broken so basically every enemy is half health for the rest of the game and basically nothing is resistant to it uh the reason it's important to have the boy do this is speed down only costs one so there's a very cheap spammable way to level this easily uh earth slide does a decent amount of damage uh but we're actually going to be using gem missile on a couple different enemies 
it's slightly cheaper and we can get more casts. And because we could get more casts, because it's literally 50% less, the damage is about equivalent. So essentially, I'm going to be spamming MP to use 10 uses of Gnome every time we go to an inn. And yeah, we're going to be one-shotting a whole bunch of bosses. Hey, Numdu. Ow, my head. You okay? Oh. Oh, that's a face. What's wrong? Mew, I can remember everything now. We live in the Upperland Forest. You gotta take me there. Then you hang out with me until we arrive. What a treat. <laughs> what a treat is the line. So anyway, we now have like the best spell in the game. We're good. <laughs> Now the question more is testing my memory of the game, what the enemy boss weaknesses are. If the if we don't know what the weakness is, the default will probably be the ice spell. I believe there is an enemy we can fight very soon, where we should be using gem missile, or earth magic instead. Oh, what am I doing walking out of here like an idiot? Can I just rope? Yeah, let's just rope. Uh, all the enemies seem to be gone, which is unfortunate. So we sadly did not get a Fairy Walnut, but maybe one day we will chat. Fairy Walnut will make up for the fact if we also miss enemy weakness. We just get more chances to destroy the enemies. So we're just going to go back to sleep because this inn is all powerful chat. Nice. So yeah, so now that Earth Saber is basically free half damage or half health of all enemies, I'm gonna do like a, I guess a, maybe a minor glitch and maybe we'll go back at some point and try to showcase. Maybe next session, I'll try to go back to the Haunted Forest. I don't believe it matters if there's people there or not, but in that jail cell we're at, for some reason that is considered its own area. So if we use the escape rope, we escape rope, rope back into that room rather than going back to the entrance. And when that happens, you're soft locked. It's over. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's actually unironically over. There's nothing you could do, GG. Anyway, we're not going to level the spear because we're an axe whip sword team. We got precious money and that has to go to fairy walnuts. Oh yeah, this game is super buggy as I said before. Some of the bugs I'll just do unintentionally. I'll try to point them out if they happen. Like, we can make weird things happen to the uh, UI. We can make it go dark blue through a couple different conditions. I think it has to do with like charging while moving between screens or something weird. Game does not quite handle that correctly. Okay, we're in like one-shot territory, that's not too bad. Anyway, since we're not in serious mode anymore, what we should be doing is... Whipping Knuckle. And then what we need to do is we need to find an absolutely helpless enemy. And then we spam the bejesus out of it. So yeah, we're gonna be doing nothing but Earth Slide here, I think. So I think this is an intended mechanic. I don't consider this a glitch. It just is faster to do it if you're not controlling the character. But like most of the time you'd be playing the boy anyway. So I feel like this is an intended mechanic to just loop this over and over. This is simple for the reason I want to do this is to level up the magic spell. Since leveling magic equals more damage. And even if this does literally nothing, it still counts to our overall quota. There's an item we can get in just a little bit, uh, probably like three bosses from now, uh, that will make spellcasting faster at the expense of us taking enhanced damage. But it's okay, because we don't ever intend to get hit once we play the game. I tried to seize you, just never get hit. Also, you can freak out the uh, Lily's uh, graphic if when it does that lunge attack, you cast a spell on it at the same time. We can make it look like one of those Soten glitches where the random box is a color around it. We'll do that when I have like another spell that affects them. It's very hilarious when you confuse them, but we won't get confused for a while, sadly. 
Uh, so we need to go to the upper forest. I guess I could take a cannon there. At some point, we should probably stop the uh, invasion to the south. I love how we just kind of ignored that plot point for now. Let's go back to Pandora. They're a little moody in Pandora, just slide into the cannon. Well, I imagine they would be if we literally just cannon there. So we're going to go ahead and just heal. Behold, chat, mode 7. Yeah, no wonder why they can't. No wonder why they're mad. But we literally just get cannoned into here real quick. I guess if I knew I was going to use the in here, I should have used the girl's magic a little bit. Oh well. It's only 10 gold, which is ultra cheap. So what we're going to do, we're going to go outside town, use up her magic, use up the sprite's magic, slash num news magic, and then we're going to continue to the boss. I just need to guarantee 100% that we get a spell level here. Especially if I don't have a fairy walnut. We need the spells to do as much damage as possible. Let's go ahead and try that now. Do you have fairy walnuts? I'd be very happy if you did. I don't remember if you do. Nothing much here. I'll be the judge of that. Damn. He was telling the truth. On the plus side chat, we still have, what was it? Three safety revive items, three candies. So like, if, if things go bad in a boss fight, we have some outs. It's not completely hopeless. But we need this to level. And then we could teach her to... What was the cheaper spell? I think it's just Defender Herself. Yeah, when they go in that little crouching animation, that's how you know they're kind of done with the spell. Okay, so his magic level, but I'm still going to keep leveling it. Because if we happen to power up, then we're good. Well, I'm like slightly too fast. Oh, wait, you can cancel. Interesting. So yeah, I don't think I'm getting the like 100% cancel, but it's like good enough. Oops. So I'm not even getting like the fastest possible one. I know if you play with two controllers, you could very easily make it do what you want. Oops, but right now we're fine as is, I think. Some spells are also extremely easy to loop with each other. Okay, so she's got one MP left. Can she have a one MP spell? Sure, use Remedy. So we leveled up her magic slightly more. So we're just going to go back to town now that we've done this. Gnome reached level one, nice. Okay, and with that, we're going to, I guess, try to go to the boss. I could get a more another safety level. I just really wanted a walnut chat, I'm so sad. I guess what I could do, you know what I could do? We're gonna leave town and then we're going to See if Neko is selling one at Neko's place. I want- I don't need like a lot of them right now. At the end of the game, I want as many as I can get. But in terms of... Maybe it's okay to just go this way? Let's showcase how the bust of the magic is, actually. Let's use some earth magic for her for the first time. See how it died at 35 HP, chat? Like, that's not normal. <laughs> oh, it's so powerful. The, the one-shotting is real, chat. Oh, that time it didn't one shot Oh, because the magic wore off. Oh, such a shame. But you saw, chat, where you could just, you could just shout, like, one punch. Like, basically, that's what happened. Halving HP is insane. And now our allies can randomly one-shot, which is funny.
was secret in an SNES game. Indeed it was. We're playing it currently on the Switch. Aw, oh, can't get any more candy. So we need to start leveling her magic so she could spam that ability more. As you see, it doesn't last a huge number of hits. So we're going to slightly level her magic more. And I think if we get Gnome to level 2, we should be good. And Gnome just hit level 2, so I think we're good for the boss fight. She could just remedy herself, because why not? Like, at some point in the game, I have to do this anyway. I don't really care where we do it. Amadeus says, the sequel to this game is your favorite game of all time. I don't know how I feel about the sequel game. I guess we'll see what we get there. I'm more interested in the remake, but we'll see what happens. So now level 2 magic has been achieved. Don't mind me, just gonna one-shot the, the rabbi, potentially. Don't reach his level 2. They're absolutely gonna kill that. I think I wanna go this way. We're just gonna go to a happy little village and check the shop out here. I should have made a note where the fairy walnut was. But if nothing else, I could just use the inn and go back. It's not a big deal. Because I know Neko's here. Neko's in a couple of places guaranteed. I just want a Fairy of Walnut. Wasn't it remastered recently? Somewhat. I'm not interested in the remaster. Oh, it's so expensive right now, chat. Rip our budget. But hey, we got another Fairy Walnut. I don't think there's anything else I can really get out of this. I can't afford the barrel yet. The barrel is hilariously stupid. So we'll stay at the inn, because he, he kind of rips us off. We could call this character the ripoff merchant, because he charges double compared to the other merchants. So unfortunate. Yeah, I was not a big fan of what they did to it. I'm still on the fence if I even want to try the Legend of Mana on Steam. Because they put DRM in it, and DRM is like a huge no-no. It's like, really? It's like a PS1 game. Why are you putting DRM in it? Be serious. No, 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 it's okay to ask, Blanks Buddy. It's fine. I'm, just, I'm more annoyed at Square Enix for uh, bad remakes. Um... Quick question. You don't go to Pandora, right? No, you don't. Okay. So one thing you can do is, while she's casting a spell, for example, when you're at a Cannoneer, you can tell them to, uh... basically cast the spell, and then we could just immediately move on. And the animation will play, but we don't have to be locked in place for it, which is funny. Alright, we're gonna level Gnome even more. So we got some time. Oops. Wrong menu. She needs to defend herself. So we want her magic to level basically ASAP. So that way we have more hits with her ridiculous super weapon. Okay, I lost my target. I mean, I could cast spells on the dead enemy, which is hilarious. Okay, I think her magic finally leveled. So we could get more strikes. I don't know how many more strikes it is. But any more strikes of insta-death essentially is useful. The third game was remastered. Oh, you're talking about the third game. Yeah, that, that one I'm curious, because that one's more of a remaster than like a HD upgrade, or whatever they call the Secret Amana version that was... Interesting, to say the least. But we'll see. I, I haven't played it at all. I've heard some very infamous things about some of the voice acting in Trials. So it's really up to chat how much they want to troll. Nice. 
level one's pretty good there. Uh, it's probably candy, I don't need it. So sad the magic wore off. Oh, Kevin is not the character that I hear talk of for characters. I'm thinking Charlotte. That character is like infamous. People have sent me clips of that voice acting. It's quite uh, something. Let's go ahead and sleep. I guess to give an equivalency for people to understand what I'm talking about, since we played Berseria a couple times on stream, it is basically this the same level of like awful chalk on or nails on chalkboard of uh Kamoana. The character's voice actress reminds me of Kamoana. That's all I have to really say about that. Huh? Fana, what's the matter? She disappeared. Let's check out the ruins down there. Okay, so we can go this way. Uh, yeah, I guess I saved. I would have loved to have leveled one more time, but we did get level two magic and we have a fairy walnut. I'm feeling pretty confident. I think we'll be fine. <laughs> you see the, oh God, no. Yeah, see, exactly. So if chat wants to avoid that, I would recommend uh, probably not selecting that character when we go to play the remake at some point. So I think this was the girl that was next door to the to our protagonist, I think. They didn't call her by a name or call her girl or something when we were in there, or woman. Chie, I'm going on a one-way trip. Pretty neat, huh? Come on, Fana. Snap out of it. Shut up. Stop bothering me. Fana. Fana. Hey, you, make room. Unless we hurry. Fun is a goner. Dialect's probably here, too. Well, chat, this is one of my favorite songs and atmospheres in the game. Enjoy this level. Watch out. Okay, so here's here's the deal, chat. We cannot hurt a majority of these enemies without using magic. We are absolutely not attacking most of the things that we fight here. Yeah, you're going in the bottom right forever. Okay, so we have to get through the maze without getting murdered. <laughs> just, <laughs> so all we gotta do, Chad, just just don't get hit. Oh, get out of there, please, Moon Saver. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> don't take the zombie with you. No, no, no. Get through, get through. Okay, we need the swords to cast magic or we're in trouble. Okay, we despawned that sword. I think this sword's normally supposed to be there. I missed, missed the punch. Just just one pixel higher, one pixel higher. There we go. Uh, not useful. It's fine. We didn't activate the room. We didn't activate the room. We're fine. Okay, that's fine. They can cast Defender on themselves. I'm not going to fight them. Please move past them. Please move past them. There we go. Please and thank you. So we really don't want to fight anything here. As you can see, they kind of spawn enemies. We can't even really fight the tomato people, or tomato man, I think he's called. I need them to stop messing around. Please move forward. I really prefer not to lose my protagonist here. Please go off screen so I stop taking fire damage. Please go, please go. <laughs> the panic is real. Okay, that's fine. They can slow me down here. That's fine. It's fine. We're, we're mostly fine. We just need to not engage any of these enemies. They're awful. Let's heal. We have level one cure, so it should heal a decent amount. So you see, one level up was 30 additional heal, just so chat was aware. So it was kind of significant. Okay, so we're gonna try to run to get by them. And we don't, if they're not on screen, they can't really harass us. So out of, out of sight, out of mind is a very true statement here. Please stop whipping the enemy. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. We're doing good, we're doing good. We only had like one minor setback. Your water helped us here. So we managed to get through. 
that could have gone much worse. We have saw what happened with the goblins. We could have had another goblin situation on our hands. Okay. Is there anything I think I need before we go further? I don't really need her to do anything. She's just there if something goes wrong. How much magic does Sprite have? Should be 10, right? So I have level 1 magic, but it's also... No, I think it's level 2 magic with Gnome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack a million gem missiles on the boss. And then we're going to Fairy Walnut mid-combo. Thanatos, I presume? Indeed. I know all about you. You're no ordinary fool if you could beat Aline. That's what I keep, what I, I want to say that with her name. I think it's technically like Eleni. Hand over Fauna and Dylock and make the people of the town as they were. <laughs> what a spirited young lass. I suppose this is Fauna. Like his little skull mask thing he's got on. Too bad, huh? I've drained her energy, and now she's my faithful servant. I need life energy to create a new peaceful world. Understand? Soon the Mana Fortress will bring the people of the world together. Surrender, and you can serve me. Don't, and you end up like him. Dun dun dun. Tyluck. He was a tough one. I see Eleni had a hard time with him, too. He must be receiving some kind of special power. Great find, huh? And you can join him now. And then we fall for the trapdoor in the floor. We're so silly, chat. Anyway, you might rec recognize this from other video games. We're going to go fight the Doom Wall. It will be glad. It will be glad to have you there. Your energy will be a feast to it. So normally, this is a pretty stressful battle because you have a time limit, essentially, to hit the boss. I think now I gotta act. Hopefully this is a valid target right now. And I did not mistime this. We'll see, though. Come on, Gem Missile Cheese. We have one Walnut in case things go wrong. Let's see if we're doing damage first. Oh, yeah, we're good. <laughs> and that's why we leveled Gnome to level two. <laughs> Bye, Doom Wall. I don't want to see what you do. I don't feel like watching you push me to the bottom of the screen and game over me by pushing me into the spikes. No, thank you. Way to go, chat. So, if, yeah, I was not kidding. Listen, that if if the sprite ever dies, it's over. <laughs> like, I am not killing anything. Just just do like just the retire. We are absolutely not killing anything without the sprite. Oh, so you are the ones with the mana sword. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah, it was totally the mana sword that did everything. Thank you, Cursogram, for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Uh, we basically embarrassed the boss. I think the boss did 20 damage to us. It was pretty bad. If I think if I waited like half a second less, it would have been a perfect fight. The villages are yours, but not these two. Wait! Ah! Oh, Dialogue, Fana! Till we meet again! <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, let's talk to all the people here. For bonus dialogue. What have I been doing all this time? Please inform the castle of this. Where on earth is this? Hello, Chihei. Where are we? Is Fana here? I'm gonna talk to the knight last. Darn, I was doing my dishes. My head feels like a ton of bricks. Hey, think, hope things are going well. We had a little bit of a rough start on the underground palace, but uh, I think we, we turned it around pretty convincingly in this dungeon. Gemma. Oh, Bandit, sorry, I was spacing out. Thanatos is one of their best men. They must be desperate to get mana. But why was he taking the life energy away from the people here? The Empire only needs the power from the seeds, not from the people. Hmm.
We'll give a little shout out to Chrisogram. Look at me, I'm doing mod stuff. Yeah, there we go. How was Lament of Innocence, by the way? So it uh, looked like a bit of a rough start. The Empire only needs the power from the seeds, not from the people. There's something curious about Thanatos. I've got a bad feeling about him. Anyway, let's get out of here. Oh, I'm sure things will be fine, right, Chad? Things will be totally fine. Return to Lucas, please. I'm off to the underground palace. Hmm. Listen, it got all the the, the music got all happy, chat. Look at that. I feel kind of sad. I kind of liked. Uh... I kind of like the the eerie music, to be honest. It is one of my favorite in the game. It's a shame we fix things, as it were. Just double checking one thing before I proceed. Yeah, I think we're good. Love Lament, crazy difficulty, really cool and changes a ton of cool things. Modding crazy mode for much less stats was maybe a mistake, oh no. Yeah, the music of this game is really solid. It's very happy town music. I wonder if we can use the shopkeeper. I don't think I really want to purchase anything from him, because all of our money will go to the great god that is Fairy Walnut. But, you know, we can take a look at what's here. Oh, I end up at a thousand gold after all that, despite me not fighting anything. That's interesting. Um... <sighs> I could get Kung Fu Dress so she's tankier. Maybe that's worth it? Let me get... We'll save money so I could buy another Walnut later. We need to essentially get to max cash at some point. I believe we're going to be coming up to some upgrades for free. I need to remember, there's like two menus. So explaining one thing briefly about the menus. If I hit the X button, it swaps between like the two partners. And if I hit the Y button, it goes back on the main character. So sometimes out of habit, I'll hit the same button twice. I don't mean to do that. We'll break habits eventually as we play the game. Yeah, I think her getting seven more defense is more important at this point. Mostly because I don't want him to die. I mean, you saw what happened. If they get attacked by the goblet equivalency, they just absolutely explode. So we almost have a thousand for another walnut. So we're not doing too bad there. All of our cash will go to the walnut gods. And we should be getting a little cash by going back to the kingdom here. So I believe this is optional. I don't think we have to do this. But if we report our efforts to the king, we could get additional items. So there's no reason to not report it. Unless you just want a speed run, I guess. But listen, we, we want some plot. We want to see if the dialogue advances. Can we get in this room yet? Oh, her father. Is it father or uncle? But anyway, the person trying to arrange her marriage is gone. Let's talk to the king now. Oh. I believe when Renner said you were going to save our country. Hey, where'd the king go? Oh, maybe he's in his room or something weird? Instead of in the throne room? He's just back here. You did it, Bendon. Brightness is returning to normal everywhere. But Gemma said about the Mana Sword and you was true. Nespal, we must now part with our treasure. We've guarded these for centuries for you, wielder of the Mana Sword. Okay. So let's go ahead and open these chests up. We should get some money and some orbs, if I remember correctly. 50 gold, not really worth it. 50 gold, well, at least we can afford another walnut. <laughs> Click on the positive at the side. You know, you could just consolidate it into like one chest. You don't have to just give me all of that. Like, I, I think there's like, maybe there's like fist orb or something is in here. Spear orb, whatever. So anyway. Oh, you had a sword orb in here? Oh, never mind. Nice. So I think we can upgrade the sword again. The sword is the only thing I legitimately want to be leveling at any point in time. 
I don't think we went in this room, but it doesn't look like there's anybody in here now. So anyway, it's just nice to go report it. It'd be nice to not be down a sword orb for later. It will make the endgame very difficult. Uh, to no one's surprise, there are ways to get additional orbs that you're not supposed to have. I, I will not duplicate orbs on purpose. <laughs> I'm just, I'm going to list all the things I will try not to do to spoil the playthrough. So you can dupe those. Uh, this game has a very infamous uh, soft reset bug thing, where, for example, if we save at the cat merchant, when we soft reset and potentially go between different save files, it's possible to teleport yourself back to the beginning of the game before you kill the mantis ant and you could basically get unlimited sword orbs. Similarly, if you open a chest and manage to leave the room before the text finishes appearing, you can open the chest more than once. So any treasure chest that happens to be near an exit, you could technically duplicate as well without any other crazy setups. As I said before, this game is very easy to break. For people that are looking for a game where you could just like snap it and break it into pieces, this is like the game for you. I'm trying very desperately not to completely crash the game <laughs> with, like, the advanced strats. Be like, shh, don't overcharge your weapon. I'm already choosing the system with a uh, magic spell, so we're good. Hmm. I guess since we use the inn. Hmm. Actually, this should be fun. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cast more of these. I think there is another fight soonish. So I'm just going to continually level magic for a little bit. So I believe the upcoming fight, if I recall correctly, has a weakness specifically to Earth Slide. So ideally I would have leveled one more time so we could do more damage with Earth Slide. But it's not the end of the world if I don't have it. I mean, that's what the walnuts are for. They're there to fix life's mistakes with the boss RNG nonsense, whatever. I'm trying to figure out what their weakness is on the fly. Like, technically, I could look it up. This game is pretty well documented, but we're gonna go off of our gut feeling chat. How much do I remember about the game? So we're just gonna have her burn all of her MP doing whatever. If she happens to level the frost magic one every once in a while, it's okay. But essentially, we're just building up for a harder fight in the near future. Look at that stun loop, chat. It's so disgusting. The monster hasn't even moved yet. And she's out of cast, so I'm going to use Remedy just to level her magic maybe a little more. Honestly, the other elements in the game we're not going to use as much for a while. Like, there's a couple of ones where it's, like, obviously their weakness kind of things. So, for example, uh, you know, if we see some flying monsters, generally speaking, they're going to be weak to lightning. Oh, that reminds me. Let me showcase this. I didn't show that earlier. Don't mind me. Just punching things. Hmm. Dare I showcase another glitch? Hmm. I guess. I missed a glitch earlier, so I, I guess I could go for it. I got some time. <laughs> uh, so let me let me do a quick save. That way we don't mess with our file too badly. So I'll show you what normally happens. So he says you're hereby banished from Potus Village, now get out of here. Uh, yeah, nice try. <laughs> Isn't that a dumb glitch, Chad? Come on. Come on, is that not really funny? Yeah, nice try, bro. <laughs> Guard the village better. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just gonna cheaply use the inn here. Don't mind me. <laughs> just shake your head, chat. Listen. Listen, the he was the town guard is more of a suggestion. <laughs> So if you're wondering, yes, you could do this to a lot of different things in this game, and it's hilarious every time. Now, the question is, I've never tried escaping the same way. Does it work? Or does he boot me? 
Oh, it still works. Nice. See that, chat? That just saved time. We're not going to consider that a major glitch. It's just funny more than anything else. If I talk to the people in there, they'll be like, Oh no, you better go see the Elder before he gets mad. Or whatever. I don't have anything new to say. Yeah, don't mind me. Just casually clipping through things I'm not supposed to. Yeah, there's a couple places in the game where I think you can go out of bounds. I will need to double check what those places are. I don't remember what they are offhand. I know there's some shops that are not properly created. So it's possible to end up at, like, the desk, like, behind where you're normally supposed to go. Uh, I could just go buy another walnut now. I guess there's no downside. So I would have just used the inn here, by the way. So it's like, oh no, I saved, like, 20 gold, whatever. <laughs> right, right, chat? Oh no, I cheated 20 gold. Whatever will I do? Kill, like, one enemy to make up for it. Anyway, we purchase our Lord and Savior Fairy Walnut. Oh, is he not going to let me save there normally? I mean, it's fine if he doesn't. If you don't buy anything, he says, I'm a little busy. Do me a favor and scat. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Wait a minute, hold on. Oh, I'm slightly not the right level. I need one more level for later. So we're actually pretty close to the level I need to be with the... Numnu, as it were. So we're gonna go this way. We'll see what they say at the Water Palace. These stairs, though. The mana seed of water was stolen. I couldn't do anything about it. They must have done it when Undine was in danger and out of power. The water tells me they took it to Gaia's navel. Or... Deeper. I don't think they're from the Empire. Please, hurry and bring it back. So you heard it, Chan. The other guy said I'll be at the Underground Palace. And then it turns out... We have to go back to Gaia's navel, after all. So because of that... Oh, she won't cure us now. Well, that's fine. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the cannon to fast travel back. I know, that's a facepalm worthy moment. They're like, go go here and get assistance. It's like, no, we, we literally just have to go back immediately. <laughs> As I said before, I'll try not to sequence break too badly, so that way Chad understands what's happening in the plot. Uh, but yeah, that, that is kind of annoying, though. Not going to lie. We had to go the complete opposite direction. Um, Let's see... I guess I could afford to just keep spamming. I actually need to level freeze up a little bit. We need to level her magic as often as possible because it's so unfair. Ooh, that was slightly slow. This might not loot properly did not loot properly. It's unfortunate. Oh well, then you fail. Let's see. Yeah, when he does when, the, when I see that little crouching animation, that's my tell that I can do it again. Okay. So I'm probably going to just go straight to Gaia's navel. Do I Heal. Do I need to heal before I do that? I'm assuming I don't. <sighs> like, I know what the boss is. I'm just thinking if I'm going to get cutscene or not. That's what I'm asking myself in my head. So we have to revisit the underground palace, more or less. And in doing so, we're going to be really close to a boss. I also love doing that to yank her out of the animation. It's one of my favorites. Anyway, back to Guy's Navel. So we'll go a little further. I was planning on stopping around the time that we unlock uh, more areas. I think we've done a, a decent amount of progress so far. So let's kill at least one more boss. And that'll give me some time before we move into a new area to uh, 
I guess, prepare ourselves for a big boss there. Oh, you know what? If I had the Earth Elemental on, I would have gotten the kill there for free. That's unfortunate. Okay, so here's what we're going to do, chat. We're going to do an outside the game save because I don't feel like doing this boss with no MP. I'm going to hope that I don't get cutscened into this boss because I don't recall. I know exactly where the boss is. I know exactly what the lead it is to it, except for if it's a cutscene or not. We're going to find out together, chat. It'll be a fun little journey. So I could level up the sword, so I might want to save 400 gold to level the sword, maybe. Maybe. Okay. Good, I did not get immediately cutscene. That's all I wanted to verify. So we leveled up Freeze a little closer to the next level. So it might level in the boss battle. I haven't been keeping track of the exact number of casts. But it is a spell we're going to be using quite often. So the more that it is leveled, the less spells that I need to win. Essentially, think of it this way. If I have to kill it with five spells, I might have to only kill it with four spells after a level up. Like, it's sometimes a very significant amount of damage. And now if we come over here, we should see there's a new hole here. So the door- they should really consider relocating, chat. They have like this horrible death dungeon over here, and then suddenly there's just a big hole in the middle of the city. We can make a hole this big. The thieves are below. Next they'll hit the underground palace. Well, apparently you know about the thieves, but the elder doesn't. I'll handle the palace. You check this out. Keep alert. We don't know what lies below. Well, I unfortunately do. Now we got the comedic villain music. Enjoy. Ooh, chest. Orb? Yeah, with orb. Here we go, chat. Ha, the water seed. How'd you get in here? You realize we can't let you leave. Welcome! We, the Scorpion Army, will rule the world! Check it out! Shut up! We took the Water Seed! To complete our super deluxe robot, we call it... Killroy! Hubba hubba! Do it! Aye aye, sir! Hmm... Do I think the robot's weakness is Earth? That's the only thing I'm thinking about. Might just be Freeze. I'm just asking myself the important questions. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it has a weakness. Let's stick to Freeze. They did hubba hubba me. Go get them now. See ya, farewell. Goodbye, children. Huh, what's wrong? Too much energy, it's out of control. No, remove the seed. Use the auxiliary power. Oh, I got a better thing to do. <laughs> right, Tad, here we go. Ooh, it's only level 1 freeze. I don't think this is going to work. I did try leveling it a little bit beforehand. I might have to Fairy Walnut. I don't feel like this is enough. Let's observe, and then I'll Fairy Walnut based off this HP. Yeah, that is not enough. Uh... Let's use a Fairy Walnut now. So it will menacingly go towards us. Yeah, I should have... I thought Freeze was level 2 already. I should have checked. Oh well. Now it's level 2. Oh, we're so close. Do I dare use another Fairy Walnut? I don't think I do. Oh, we're so close to killing it, chat. We're so close. 
It's already in its like damage phase. It's like, man, do I really want to burn out other Walnut? I feel like the answer is no, but it will add a lot to the fight time. Hmm. <laughs> We're so close. It cannot have that much more HP. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't realize I didn't have level two magic because I was calculating, I think, based off of level two. So you do a little hit and run here to try to avoid the damage. But yeah, it's going to take a little bit. If nothing else, I get more chances to cure myself. So I kind of view this as sort of win-win in a way. So every five hits or so is about as strong as the level one freeze. How did that miss? Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to switch weapons since Fist keeps missing. We're like just barely out of range of the enemy. Let us switch to... Oh, I could just hit him with the uh, pole dart, actually. Oh, hold on. I was the wrong character when I did that. Oh, I can't swap weapons because I'm Moogle. That's fair. I was wondering why it looked weird for a second. We'll do something like this. Yeah, we, we were not that far. <laughs> I'm like, it would have saved us like about a minute, but it's like, whatever. We, we could kill it legit. Yeah, that boss fortunately doesn't have like a million spells. So like we can afford to actually fight that thing semi legit. We do not want to fight any of the giants or things like dragons legit. Those are horrendous. We're not dealing with that. But we killed them with the javelin. Nuts. Oh well, see ya, bye. Recover the mana seed. Let's bring it back to the Water Palace. Okay, so I think we're pretty much immediately getting into another fight. So I'm gonna make sure my earth magic was partially leveled. Her magic... Oh, she can use it in the town. I don't think I've ever tried doing it in town before. I guess it makes sense I could do it wherever. Let's just go ahead and burn her magic a little bit. So that way we, we have more safety heals. <laughs> it's faster than waiting. Come on, use it up, use it up. Right, chat? If this hits level 2, it just makes it safer for us if I make, make a mistake, basically. Uh, I would have liked to have used another Earth spell to use that last little bit of MP, but that's fine. So I'm going to stay recover our health. I think my Earth magic mu usage is fine. My freeze is like a little underwhelming. I'm at least level 2 for the next boss. So what I'm going to do, let's at least return the seed to the Water Palace, because that puts me at a better save anyway, if I want to go back and show stuff off. Or I guess if chat doesn't mind waiting a little bit, I can try to break the game with Escape Rope. Worst thing that happens is I have to try with uh, a fresh file. Also, why am I going this way? Uh, I guess I can use my money to improve my sword. So that way I have a single boss weapon. Although, to be fair, I think when I first played the game casually, I mostly stuck to uh, whip and Javelin, because I just preferred ranged weapons. I honestly didn't play at all with the other weapons, but I should probably level the sword. And leave the rest of my money for the almighty Fairy Walnut. Yeah, we basically just need raw damage on a weapon. So that way, if I do need to kill something, it's not horrendously slow. If I'm feeling really comfortable with enemy manipulation to avoid some of the bad fights, I could see myself not needing to level the sword that much, if at all. But being able to just do stuff like that, just so satisfying. Level ups, I don't feel like super improve our damage by crazy amounts. It's more the weapon levels. Like, one weapon level is so much stronger than an- I'm not gonna pick up the chest, it's probably a trap. Uh, it's just- I just feel so much stronger than, like, one level up. If you get, like, a ton of level ups, I feel like you'll start to notice. But otherwise... I think we're fine there. Let me, uh, get a kill there.
So I believe we should be good to go. Out of curiosity, with our proficiencies, where am I at with him? Oof. We're still at only level 2 sword. That is painful, actually. That's painful how low that XP is. So I should probably level up uh, Axe and Bow at some point. I have a lot of time until the end of the game to do it. It just... I should probably just equip it when I'm going between areas like this. I do really like Pole Dart, though. Okay, let's go to Water Palace. So we left ourselves with an okay amount of money to just travel around. Yeah, we never want to go completely broke, because otherwise it takes longer to run between places. I want to save her magic for a little bit, although... I guess it really just depends on what happens here. Oh, her magic level just says that did that. Unfortunate. So you might notice, chat, there's now enemies here. <laughs> Spoilers, I might have known that, and that might have been why I did the Earth Elemental stuff. So now it's petrified, so it's even better than freeze. Yeah, the snowmen you can't really damage, but with the petrify, you can still damage them and it reduces their health. So it's just kind of crazy good in general. So anyway, we're just getting a little bit of bonus XP and money there. Uh, now my question is, where am I at with the pull weapon? 20-ish? Yeah, that's about where I thought I was. I love killing this fish. It's all little cameos from the merman earlier. I think we could get the enemy names if we target them. Wrong character. Water Thug. His name is Water Thug, chat. There is a ridiculously named enemy. I think it's the Cloud. I'm not going to spoil it. It has one of my favorite enemy names of all time. <laughs> Just... Just spoilers, it's it's ridiculous. They were very happy when they named some of the monsters in this game. Okay. So we got some extra bonus XP towards the pull dart. Nice. And I like how the overworld music becomes more dramatic when you're right before a boss. I like that evolution of the theme. Curiosity. 43. Okay, we're getting there. Buy it, gas. I got pig mead. <sighs> this is the only character I don't want pig mead. So funny enough, let, let's talk about pig mead for a little bit as we wait for this to wear off. Pygmy is a status where you can see I have no range on my attacks. I take hilarious amounts of damage when hit, but if I cast spells while Pygmied, it reduces the animations. If we were to make an analogy, it's basically like V801 from PSO. It's going to be cutting a lot of our initial startup, and it cuts down on the end lag after the spells, so it becomes infinitely easier to get rid of. Chad, I don't think this is going to get cured. Let me just use an herb. Treasure chests are such trolls. Oh, I got hit through the wall. That's unfortunate. They're doing the same strategy as me. How dare they? My right, Chad, how dare they? I will go in this epic battle because I want to get weapon experience while I'm still somewhat not overleveled. Need our allies to do something. There we go. Jay reached level 12. Nice. I'm not opening that. I'm not doing it. <laughs> right, Chan? I, I refuse. 61. Okay, we can go a little more. Bob, your head to the music, Chad. Here we go. Luca, get out of here fast. Who have we here? I'm Gestar of the Empire. Hand over that seed or look at it. Don't! What will you do? Love how we can run. I think... I'm not really sure what happens if we choose this option. But we need to hand it over for the plot to advance. 
Out a boy. So glad the seed's here. Too bad we have to break the seal. Stop it! Well, nice to have met you all. I don't think he's I don't think he's being serious, chat. As a little gift, I'd like you to have my little pet. Remember to feed him. Uh, I'm gonna feed him. Hopefully he likes a uh, high fiber diet. <laughs> so we smack him with mud and earth. Let's go, chat. Here it comes. I believe you are weak to earth slide. So get absolutely dunked on by me. Oh, I actually did it fast enough that it comboed. Uh, I'll do a single earth gem. Why not? Oh, we're so close to killing it. Poison gas me? That's rude. Uh, I guess I should probably ferry this. Let's heal. While well, that happens. Say goodbye to fairy, Walnut. Our savior. I'm not gonna bother curing the poison. If Chad is wondering, if you get knocked down, but the damage has not appeared, you can heal yourself and stop yourself from dying. Certain items are a little better at it than others. It's kind of nice though. You have like a last chance to not die to spells. Why did you not cast a spell there? Also, he's doing the pose, but he didn't... What? What? Why can't I cast another spell? Oh, he's unconscious. Oh, that's annoying. No! <laughs> Our damage dealer fell asleep. Well, let's try this again. Did he fall asleep again? Oh no, he's just messing with me. Seriously? Game? Hello? Why? Why am I not able to cast a spell or is he dead? Oh, he just fell asleep again randomly. Cool. Cool, love to see it happen. Love when you go to chain magic and your ally just falls asleep for some reason. Thanks, game. Oh, come on. We're so... The fight is, like, almost over. I'm pretty sure this next one will kill. Yeah, we were close. Stupid. We did little bits of damage. I might have been able to save a walnut if I leveled up earth again again maybe but anyway all, all praise fairy walnut so we don't have to deal with the bosses thank you fairy walnut and that leveled me so i now have enough mp for what i want to do later got a bow orb nice so every level up is essentially an mp and given that our spell costs are only going to stay static for the entire game Chaining, chaining like five or six low level earth and fire spell, or not fire spells, earth and water spells. Not that bad. So what I can do is just have her cast spells on herself. And nothing to target there though. Okay, so she leveled up her magic to level two. So I have better safety heals. I'm still gonna put another thing just so earth weapons last longer. Now, use your sword to restore the seal put on the seed. Sure. Receive the seed's power. Pure evil seeks the seed now. You must hurry and revive the mana sword. Go to the lofty mountains and see Sage Jacques to learn about real courage. Then go to all eight of the world's palaces and reactivate all the seeds. You will be able to receive mana power from the seeds once you reactivate them. <laughs> Why? I already got the best abilities in the game. The Imperial forces have drawn back. I managed to defeat their monsters in Pandora too. I got this from one of them. You should have it. Just happy to get another whip orb. Panda, we're running out of time. Return home and stop the Empire there. Only a restored mana sword can beat the fortress. Talk to the cannon traveler, man in Potos. We'll send you to the upper land. 
Alright, we're not gonna worry about that yet. Can you please heal us, by the way? I'll restore you. Wanna save the game? Absolutely. Not asking for much, are they? They're like, just do all the hard work for me. So that was pretty much about the point where I wanted to go to. I'm checking something before we go further. Oh, you know what it is. There we go. On different button. Oh, it put us there. Interesting. So, I want to showcase something. We're we're just gonna showcase. I wanted to do this earlier, but I wasn't able to. So I think because we came out of a cutscene, we didn't go as far. But now that I went through that door, we're gonna save again. Then I'm going to ignore her dialogue. Yeah, there we go. So normally when you visit her, you could just teleport out of there as the quick travel. I wanted to show that off at least once, chat. At least once. Uh, I'll play as the sprite for a little bit. Let's go see if we can get ourselves softlock, because that would be a great way to end the stream. What do you think, chat? <laughs> just casual softlock on something for no reason? What? Oh, you're on the spike knuckle, not the whip. Got confused. Uh, if you're wondering, there are ways to cross that gap without the whip, and I will ban them for all the obvious reasons of completely destroying the game in its entirety to skip all the whip segments uh, without getting whip or potentially party members. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to a very specific room, and I'm gonna try to softlock myself on it. So as I said before, normally it tries to put you at the entrance of a dungeon. Um, we saw kind of an interesting behavior after that fight, where it considered the boss fight as another entrance to have come from. So that I didn't know about when you teleported around before. Oh, could you imagine if we could have whipped across there? That would have been so sick. So we have a very peaceful journey here. Hopefully we'll be fine going across. I don't think it matters whether or not there's enemies, but we'll find out together, Chad, if it matters. Okay, it's in the victory music. So let's see, can we soft lock in the victory music? That would be amazing. Did I miss anything before I go any further? I don't think I ever checked out what was on the right side. Was there anything? Oh, it's probably just bonus enemies, whatever. No one cares about bonus enemies. There there's enough in this game. We could choose to fight when we want to. But I feel like for the most part, we haven't been like hyper grinding. Like there's little segments where yes, I have to grind a little bit, but it's been like mostly manageable. So now my question is, in this room, oh, that is a face. Oh, look what I did to her graphic, Chad. What an amazing pause frame. Oh, I can't use it here. Darn, I have to start a new file. So I think while people are here, it lets me magic rope, but I guess because the people left, I can't do it. Oh, I can't soft lock myself, chat. So sorry. But at least we know. I didn't know whether or not that would soft lock. And if we do it from here, what happens? Still can't use it. Could be like the fact that we cleared the dungeon, it's no longer counted as a dungeon. That's also probably what happened there. So today I learned something new at least. So is there anything else I'm within distance of showing off is the question I'm asking myself. I'm looking, I wrote a couple of notes to, for uh, different glitches in this game. I could maybe showcase the overcharge glitch. I haven't tried it more than once before. Let's see if I can do it. Do I have multiple level twos? Might not actually be able to set it up. So the sword should glitch with the knuckle, I think. I think I could do it with the protagonist. So the way it works... I don't know if it has to be with the partner. Let, let's find out together, chat. We'll figure out how to do it with the, the swap. So the concept behind... Seriously. Controller, stop it. I'm, I'm not hitting anything, I promise you, chat. Game, please. Please stop. We're so close to the end of the stream. So, what I'm hoping to do is if we do this... 
do I have to swap who does it? That's the question. Oh, I can't activate the menu with it. Okay, so... I think... Okay, I can have an AI do it. I think I can have an AI do it. So what I need to do is I, need, I think I need to play as the girl. And the girl needs to have the sword, I think, for this to work. Please stop that. <laughs> Switch controller, please. Right, chat, we're so close. I just need it to not be itself for like one minute. So that's unfortunate, chat. I have two different Switch controllers. Both of them have drift. Unreal. It's one of my least played systems. I think you can understand why. <laughs> Stuff like that drives me wild. So we need to fight an enemy where he'll charge is the question. So why don't I tell him to change his AI strategy? Oops, I forgot I'm playing as the girl. I gotta swap the button. We'll do guard level one. Let's see if we get it to go. It's much easier with uh, two controllers to do. As you can just swap in as you want on the other character. So we need him to start charging. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna swap to this. I think this'll work. It instantly went to level one. Now I think I just swap back and the game breaks. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Did you see the damage? <laughs> so anyway, I'm banning that glitch. <laughs> Just, just casual 997. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and that's why you don't need to level weapons. Listen, chat. If you, if you really are interested in breaking a game, this game is just so beautiful. Listen, I guarantee if you play around with the game, you can break it. It's just so beautiful. Look how easy that was, chat. I have never done that glitch before. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I know how it works. I've seen somebody do it once at some point, like five years ago. I'm like, you know what? I think I could do the glitch first try. So with two controllers, the concept would be you would actually be playing with literally two controllers and you toggle on player one, player two. And you basically, you basically only toggle on player two specifically to do the swap. And you charge up with player one, and then you swap back to player, player one with your hands and finish the combo. So you can imagine, chat, if these bosses don't have more than a thousand health, which for a long time I don't think they do, uh, you're basically in one-shot city. You can welcome them to one-shot city. <laughs> the damage is insane. I mean, think about it. That was with a completely unleveled fist weapon that did that much damage. Like, what if we actually leveled the weapon? What if he actually crit? <laughs> like, just just put those concepts in your mind. But yeah, essentially the game gets confused. It charges up to, I think, 128, and then it resets again, and it recharges back to 128 for a perfect 255 levels with the uh, overflow. But uh, yeah, just absolute deletion. But there we go. We got to showcase some glitches. We, we're going to have to come back to this. So I'm going to have to replay it. Maybe I'll do a what if scenario where I just go straight here. Maybe we'll see. Depending on how hard the uh, whipless strat is, I might just try to do whipless into uh, escape rope. Although I don't know if I could do that with maybe I can. I'm not sure. It would require going to the Water Palace, but I also still need Escape Rope, which requires going to Gaia's Navel. Hmm. I'll think about it. Those tricks I don't know how to do. I don't know how to do Whipless. I've seen it before. I know about level 5 because I played the game before. <laughs> I, I did that by accident in a casual playthrough. They decided it was a good idea to have a whip attack in four different directions, but that also means that if you line up with the post, like let's say you're facing down, and you do the 360 whip, it'll think that you're whipping left, but you're still facing forward, so you leap forward and you could go out of bounds. It's very easy to go out of bounds in this game chat. So I will try not to do that in a way that will put me in a place I'm not supposed to be. I might do it to skip annoying serpentine paths in one of the later areas. I'll think about it. But I also have to get whip up to level 5, which I really doubt will happen because that requires the sprite to get the kill. But anyway, chat. Let's pause here for now. We we broke the damage meter, essentially. So what are we expecting the next time we play? Well, I'm going to brush up. I think I'm going to see if there's any other 
uh, fun glitches. Maybe we'll uh, maybe I'll start up a couple save files and we'll purposely break our money. I just didn't want to do that until I got a little more comfortable with the game. But uh, yeah, let's let's try to get infinite money on stream next time, and maybe we'll see if we can soft lock ourselves. That sounds like fun. <laughs> I missed my window of opportunity, sadly, to softlock myself. I still did basically max damage, though, which is silly. Very silly. So, essentially, for where we're expecting to go, let me put on a little bit of music just for some audio. Basically, what I'm looking to do is go through, and we need to get one item at some point which I think I can manipulate by going between two different areas after the upper land. And by doing this, I'm going to be able to pygmy myself. And that will make it so that my spells are easier to loop. And it also means I have to wait less time for, for example, the girl to cast buffs. So we're going to be doing some of that where it's it's not a glitch. It's I, it, pretty sure it's intended. It's like the only upside to being pygmied. Um, otherwise, you just take a massive amount of damage and die. Uh, we will be abusing the Earth Weapon, which I'm assuming works as intended. But you know what? It's Secret of Mana. I have no idea what's entirely intended. It's kind of like playing Castlevania. Like, there's things that are like, hmm. And then there's things that seem like they should be allowed, but aren't. <laughs> they aren't intended. So I'm not really sure. Who knows, Chan? We're not going to call this a glitch-free run. I think it's literally impossible. We already clipped through the graphics. Obviously, I did 999 damage. I, I cheated 10 gold. Oh, no, in the playthrough. Like, like who cares? I tried glitching the, uh, the conversation with the performance, but I did something wrong. So I didn't end up with, like, bonus money. Unfortunate. Oh, well. But I think from that standpoint, Chan... We basically just need to, I guess, clear the game. We have almost everything we need to cheese every boss. Uh, there are a couple of spells that are much later in the game that I do need to basically like panic level or else the final boss is going to be like an absolute nightmare. So we're going to be doing some spell grinding probably more towards the end of the game. But anytime I think I'm going to go between inns, I'm just going to try to level whatever we have, whether it's earth, water, or any of the other upcoming elementals. We'll see where it goes from there. But hopefully you enjoyed. We had a little bit of a rough start, but we had a great finish. <laughs> That's all I have to say. We had a good finish. So I, I think despite not having played this game since... 1999, maybe? <laughs> I think I'm doing okay. So I think from that standpoint, chat, we're going to go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So expect more shenanigans. I will try to actually look up more glitches because there are so many of them. I literally can't keep track of them. There's so many, chat. There's so many. But with that, thank you for watching and hope to see you again in the next part, YouTube.